Okay, so for those who may or may not remember, last week you had found a couple of things. You went to the Yawning Portal, managed to explode a bar, ran Oops. from the police, and ransacked a uh, hideout belonging to the Zentarim. Um, inside you found a Kenku, who you forcefully harassed, and uh, then proceeded to let get away, uh, as well as find a young man, maybe 18 or 20, in a back closet. You've since taken him. Uh, the map is not representative of the area to a Harper hideout under the uh, guidance of Kesnia. And have since woken up in the morning. Um, I need everyone to roll perception for me. Uh, perception. Where is my thing? My apologies. Cool. Everybody seems to notice everything normal, with the exception of one person. <laughs> Hello, friend. Hi! Oh, I'm the first person that gets put this side. Makes me happy. Yes, you usually are. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, as you look around and get up and check through your belongings, you notice you're missing a thing. I'm missing so What am I missing? Uh, the journal that what? you had bought is no longer uh -huh. in your belongings. What? Okay. Um, you also notice that the, like, window to your little room uh -huh. that you're in, uh, uh -huh. has been left ajar. Which was definitely not the case when you went to sleep. Interesting. Dang, I shouldn't have meditated. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's a that's a thing. Is there anything you'd like to do about that? But, uh, I immediately want to. Uh, oh man, the way it looks is like somebody got into my journal. Um, yeah, I guess the first thing I'll do is check out. Can I check out the window? Is there anything that would tell me? If somebody came in or out through uh, this window, with your perception skill, you do def perception score. You definitely do see that someone came in from the outside, mm -hmm. uh, managed to pick the lock on the window, mm -hmm. open it, and get in. Um, there are slight claw, like claw or nail marks. You're not entirely certain. Mm -hmm. uh, that are ever so lightly etched into the wood, as if someone was gripping it, but mm -hmm. you're not sure what they come from. And is it gripping it as them coming in, but I don't see any signs of them going out? Uh, if you, when you look, you don't see any signs of them going out. So either they did leave through the window and left no marks like they did coming in, or they left their hands in the same positions when they went out. <laughs> okay. Okay. And the only thing missing from me is the journal. Correct. Ooh, Okay. Uh, looking around the room, does it look the same? Does it look like anybody else's stuff has been disturbed? Or just my own? You're kind of each in your own little room, own little area. Oh, okay. So oh, you'll okay. have to ask the others. Okay. So I'm in my own room right now? Yeah, your own little room. It's not big, it's quite tiny, but okay. it's a room. Okay. Can I use... Does City have any kind of tracking capability? Was it done? I don't know. Oh, uh, she does. Oh, keen hearing and smell, maybe? Oh, you no, could that's... attempt to get Siri to see if they could pick up a scent. Yeah, can I do that? Can I see if she picks up any other scents in the room other than our own? Uh, yeah, let's see here. Which does that require? That's a wisdom. Let's have her roll perception, so I'll roll that. Oh, okay. She does not. Okay. Uh, you, you have her sniff around for a second. It looks like she's catching on to something, but it just happens to be one of the rations in your bag. Okay. 
Okay. Um. Son of a bitch. <laughs> My journal. Okay. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do before I return you to the group? Um, oh, yeah, uh, so with my, uh, where is it, do do, uh, I have to find it on my thing, oh, my astral trance, how does that work exactly? Your astral trance, let's take a look. Yeah, so right now you can switch the prof the proficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take away, so right now you've got proficiency in Thieves Tools and Athletics. Mm -hmm. But you can change one of them to another skill. Uh, and you change both of them. Oh, you don't have to, but you can. Um, okay. You can pick a skill that you want to gain proficiency in and a weapon or tool that you want to gain proficiency in. Oh, okay. So I would change both at the same time, or I can choose one and then keep the other? Uh, I'm going to say I'll let you choose one or the other, or not okay. at all. Okay. Okay. I don't think I'm going to change it thus far, but just okay. so I know for next time. Okay. Sounds good. I'll move you back. Thank you. All right, now that that's over, first things Welcome first, back. the Astral Elves Ooh. vacation. Is there anything you're doing with your Astral Trance? Oh, shit. Got an Astral. I am not. Doing? Yes, are you switching out or using your Astral Trance at all? Oh, I... <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I, I did take a long rest. I haven't prepared my spells yet. Well, your astral trance lets you, by default, it lets you pick a skill and a weapon or tool to gain proficiency in, and you can change that when you rest. So pick it. Oh, I see. I see. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Um, actually, now I've got my alchemist supplies as my my tool, so I'll I'll keep those. Okay. So yeah, all good. Thank right. you, though. So you all get up, um, get out of pajamas, whatever clothes you decided to sleep in, and I'll this meet up out like in the... Your pajamas. Just get inside. I stood over your bodies and watched you sleep. Do you actually say that? D didn't you hear me? <laughs> you look weird. Finn's, Finn's just gonna look to Dick and go, uh, is anybody else missing anything? I look around and make sure I have all my belongings as I get ready. Uh, you all, as you all look around, don't seem to notice anything missing from your belongings. Oh, mm. I think I see everything. All right, ready to go. I guess uh, we're going back to the awning portal. Is that right? Mm. Well, what do we have? What do we have? <laughs> oh, yeah. I I am not leading things here. I'm a Finn follower. Is going, Finn is going to look <laughs> to Dick. Finn is going to look to Dick again and go. They stole the journal. It's gone. It, who's the... Uh, Oh, I, I might have dozed off there for a bit, but I didn't see anything. For reference for all of you, just so you all are aware, you all were not in the same room when you slept in this hideout. You all had your own little well, nooks and crannies. Okay. That would explain things. <laughs> and as a, as a, do I even need sleep? That's a good question. Uh, I guess I you go. You can like trance. So similar to an elf. Okay. Yeah, but you don't like sleep. Technically, you don't even need to trance, but it's a luxury, I guess. Okay. Can I well, ask? 
some questions for 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 my own reference that my character sure. should know, but I have no idea what's going on. Are we in an inn? You are in a Harper yes. hideout. Harper hideout. What's kind that? Of. Uh, you guys followed Kesnia to his uh, what can only be described as a guild affiliation. Okay. Um, to one of their secret hideouts and little like tucked away houses to sleep the night. So we didn't pay anybody to be here. No. Okay. So there's no room service. There's no room service. Oh fuck! I'm hungry. I could eat. Well, how far away are we from the awning portal? Because they have food. Oh yeah, I could go for a little munch, munch, munch right now. You just hear like a tiny itty bitty growl, like belly grumble sound. Like it's just like so faint, just because of how small she is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, where's this person that we brought back with us? Yeah, is he with us? Yeah. They they decided to, the, one of you decided to keep them with you guys in your nooks and crannies. Um, at this point I had determined that it would be Eldrick or her Zykin. Oh. But I'm not certain you guys can decide who it was. Basically that person stayed with you, stayed with one of you in your little hobbit hole of a nook and cranny. Okay, Eldrick, did you really, really want the fellow we found? No, no, I feel like you might want to keep him close at hand because you can definitely like hold him. All right. If he tries to leave, yeah, like you'd make a very appropriate big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Um. So then the the character is still with us now. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. He hasn't left. Okay. Uh you know what? Can I can I say um All right. <clears throat> Listen. I don't feel like babysitting you. I'm going to search you. Don't try anything funny. And then I'm going to let you Go get You see him just kind of like Hold his hands up silently oh, yeah. with a like, I wouldn't say a light nod, but like an, a, a one of like understanding, almost as if he's been in this situation before. <laughs> okay. Like last night. So can I, can I give him a pat down looking for potions, gems that teleport? <laughs> Weapons, uh, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll an investigation for me. Oh boy, the best thing that I'm so good at. I couldn't <laughs> have scored lower if I tried. <laughs> so, uh, oh. you you like literally like pat him down, but because your your hands are so like thick, you you don't even feel the shit under his cloak <laughs> and under his clothes, and you just assume there's nothing on him. Hmm. Well, you seem okay, but I'm probably not the best to judge. Come on. And I uh, help him get up because apparently he was tied to the, tied with his arms and legs behind his back the whole night. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, you didn't want to let him go. Y'all tied him up and left him with you guys. And, and we're going to walk him out uh, to if we stayed in separate rooms, I guess I'm walking out into the foyer. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a little hallway with a small, uh, a couple benches and a small little like brazier that can be lit. Okay, is there's there like anybody else area. out in this hallway? Uh, yeah, everybody else is out there. So, did we confirm this guy's identity? He said he was Floon. He is not Floon. He is friends with Floon. What's his name? Don't know. Well, let's What's ask. your name? Search him. <laughs> We don't want to repeat you it. Already searched him. This is going to be the wood thing all over again. First of all, you didn't oh know that. God. Second of all, I, uh, I I volunteer to search him. Okay, go ahead and roll me that investigation. Don't be weird. Uh, so your your hands kind of like 
slide over him, but not like normally. You're like pulling your hand as you like stretch out your fingertips and move it down his body. Very sorry if I graze your nuts there, sir. Um, <laughs> and as you go through, you do you do recognize that he is armed. It's a it's a very small dagger he's got on him, as well as a short sword. Um, <laughs> hiding a short sword. Uh, I choose to say nothing. And uh, he does have what appears to be a flask of some kind next to the short sword uh, around his waist. I take that. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, Numu, you thirsty? Numu's always ready for a good time. Uh, try this. I handle the flask. Numu takes flask. I watch the expression on the person we just searched's face to see what <laughs> he does. Uh, you kind of see him, like, almost look over you all with, like, stunned confusion. Like, uh, if a group was going to take him into custody, they definitely didn't think they were going to drink his drinks. Or from his <laughs> flask. Uh, uh, Nemo wants to... F I want to see what this shit is first. Okay, so what are you going to do with it? I just want to, like, open it and just, like, smell it. <laughs> uh, you don't smell any scent coming from it. Nothing? Nothing. Water. Totally Nemo, like, tips it just a little bit to, like, just get, like, a drop on his tongue. What does it taste like? Uh, it doesn't taste like anything. It's just fucking water. <laughs> Nemo's still I ready. Know. I need you to roll me a charisma saving throw. Ooh, look at it. It was only a drop. <laughs> Is it, though? <laughs> Is it just water? It's turns out it's chardelin juice. <laughs> Don't even say that. <laughs> okay, well you managed to you managed to keep yourself upright, but realize <laughs> that like a couple moments after that drop hit your tongue, your legs nearly gave out on you. Oh god. Um so there there was no taste, no scent, but that nearly fucked you up something fears. Sir, what is this? Uh, you see his head turn, he kind of, like, glances at the, the Minotaur, afraid to do anything without the Minotaur's express consent. Speak! <laughs> you see him, like, I guess, like, take get taken aback a little bit before speaking. <laughs> and he goes, it's a it's a drink of my family, the, 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 the family of Never Ember. Very strong. Oh, family recipe. Uh, usually not drank straight. Don't very, betray. very, very, is... like, only a couple of drops mixed with other things. Nemu's gonna have a good time. <laughs> Does that name ring a bell? His name is Raynar Never Ember. I found it in my notes. Thanks for yeah. keeping track of that. This is why everybody keeps notes. <laughs> Can I determine if he's lying? Yeah, go ahead and roll insight. You genuinely don't think he's lying. He looks like he's genuinely mm. terrified of this Minotaur and is willing to tell the truth because of it. I didn't even have that. All right. <laughs> well, in that case, I, uh... Mimu, can I borrow that flask back for a moment? <laughs> you also must a... pinky promise that you will give it back, though. Oh, absolutely. With the liquid <laughs> inside. All but two drops. Two drops. Deal. Very well. I take the flask, pour two drops of it into, add it into my own, and then hand it back. Okay. Nemo takes it back. I ask this noble-looking fellow if he knows who Floon is. Uh, he does. All right. Can he you tell us the last time you saw him? Uh, Floon, um, and in no short amount of uh, words, tells you that he believes he was kidnapped, or Floon was kidnapped because the the agents that were coming thought he Floon was him. 
Um, I see. This is much more look... noble than Floon is. But they look pretty similar then? Yeah. Like, it, basically, okay. like, same clothing, different colors, effectively. Maybe a s couple embellishment differences. All right. Well, I and I tell the I tell the guy that we have been instructed to find Floon and to recover him at all costs. And if he knows anything about the inductees or abduct the abductors and where to find them, uh, he mentions Persuasion? that there was a. Uh... He's still terrified of this Minotaur man. Oh, oh so he's just willing to talk. He's Great. just willing to talk. Like the Minotaur yelled at him. <laughs> he's really not looking to die. Um, the, uh, he, he mentions that he remembers before, like, being knocked unconscious, seeing them drag his friend through a nearby, what he thinks is a nearby alleyway, um, although he can't be certain because he was unconscious, into, like, a metal grate cover. Uh, can you lead us to where you were abducted? He kind of nods. He's like, I think so. It's still a bit fuzzy, but I think so. All right. Well, that's step number one, guys. Let's go find the, the steward grate that he saw and see if we can find out where it goes. Before, uh, before they could do anything, Finn is going to look to Kesnia and ask him, who knows about this place? This hideout? Uh, only people of my organization. Uh, I shouldn't tell you more. And you're completely sure of that? Oh, yes, yes. I grew up... I, I mean, uh, yes, I'm, I'm very aware of this location. Yeah. So you're saying somebody in your organization stole from me? What? So you're saying that you're, that's right, going back to what you said earlier, you got something stolen from you while you were here? Correct. You're Somebody broke in through the out. window. Mm, well, if it was a person from the organization, I doubt they'd have to break in through a window. Sounds like we were followed. Hmm. Um, hmm. Maybe there's some evidence of in your room where they broke in. Uh, maybe some blood or something. Just claw marks. Claw marks. Wait a second. I look to the to the to the bunny. Um, you take me as someone who would know wild things. Is that right? A few things. Although, to be honest, I was just had a certain loss in my life. Sorry, what was that? I didn't catch. I knew some. I knew some wild ma animals, but mostly those in the Fey Wild. Because I was, well, to be honest, I come from a circus. So it's far away from here. But could you identify if it's like a bear's claws versus like a werewolf's claws? Possibly. Doesn't hurt to try. All right. So we take a look. All righty. All right. So you all lead the way, <laughs> Mr. Finn. <laughs> So uh, you all crowd into this, like, three by three foot space. Very not big. Um, how did I even fit in there? What? I said, how did I even fit in there? Because you didn't sleep. You were in a trance. That's true. Um, Literally a closet. Yeah, literally you just sat down in a closet, basically. Um, it has a window. It does have a window on the side of it, because there's got to be some airflow, otherwise you'd suffocate. It's a fancy closet. Um, and as you guys look right under the, the window, which is still ajar, and there are markings on the inside of the, uh, the wood, just ever so gentle, but definitely there. You just, like, this was like, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Just like pushes her way through, and you just hear like a little pop, like when she cartoonish pop when she comes through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. What do we have here? She pretends 
playfully just pretends to push up glasses that are not there. Yeah. And she examines the claw marks. All right. Make me a investigation check. Investigation. Boss. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, as you look over this, you're immediately aware that these are not the claw, claw marks or markings of an animal. Um, but actually hmm. more like a, a humanoid's claw marks. Or nail marks, maybe, come to mind. Um, huh. The marks could have been na- made by long nails. Well. Hold on. Sorry, I had somebody come into my room and was like, I need to tell you this thing now. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm doing something. Um, anyway, sorry. Hmm. Well, this doesn't look like any animal I've seen, at least. This looks more human, to be honest. Hmm. Anybody know of, of a humanoid-like thing that leaves claw marks like that? That seems weird. It- it could also be a diversion. Hmm. You know, make you think that something big and gnarly and, and scary came in, but in reality, it was just a person with a very good manicure. <laughs> well, maybe someone who can, like, scry might be able to find your book. Uh, unless we can find some tracks outside. I suppose I can take a look. I don't see <laughs> shite. No, you, don't. <laughs> you tried that drink that after adding the drops to it, you swirled it around a little bit and took a drink, and your vision's a bit blurry. You're not gonna lie. Ha- they're like it's a it's a six clawed animal. That's all I can tell you. Wait, there's six claws. Clearly, can, you you can't see them. Oh, I mean, honestly, this place is quite crowded. I didn't get a close look. Here, Why are there two of you? <laughs> <laughs> Basil reaches up for the for the window and like her paws just barely get on top of the seal, and she pulls herself up, Ugh. and she looks outside the window to see if there's any tracks or anything. Uh, you or don't... even like, or even broken glass for that matter. Which actually, that's that's a good question. The window was broken, right? The window was open. The lock on the window was picked, and the window was okay. open I... from the outside. Okay, I thought you. I thought the broken was, into in a metaphorical. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's. I thought like glass. That's my bad. It's been that's burgled. Me assuming. Um, he's been burgled but yeah are there any footprints outside? Sorry. <laughs> the the ground outside is a stone pavement. Um. It does look relatively disturbed, but it's hard to tell what disturbed could be or what's normal here, uh, based on your vision. Um, mm-hmm. You do notice, however, that there is a thin pipe that has been rested against the, the side of the, the building leading up to this window, with small pegs sticking out for someone to stand on. Huh. I don't believe that was here last night. Unless Finn likes to play with a pole. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> no, no like that's your boy? business. That's your business. But anyways, there's a pole right here with little piggies. Like a makeshift ladder. See? And she just like waves a little paw in the direction of the of the pole. That looks professional. This would not be up to cold over at the witch light. Um, okay. Yeah, Finn's all for going outside and looking at what they found outside before they leave. Take a little closer look at the pole. Are you doing that through the window or are you going outside first? No, we're going outside. Go, Go outside. 
Okay, because I was going to say, there's only so much you can get by looking down <laughs> at a pole. <laughs> well. Um, I mean, you might be able to tell what it's made of. But, uh, yeah, was... you all you all step outside, exit out of the little closet, and stretch your legs for a bit, kind of managing to take a step away from each other. Um, And as you yeah. go around to the side of the building, you notice the, the pole leaned up. It is a silver pole. Um, doesn't look super fancy. There's scratches and dings on it. Um, looks more like it was repurposed. Um, but definitely could have been used to get up to the window easily. Uh, while they're all investigating this, uh, can I take an aside real quick to talk to this? What's his name? Raymar, is that correct? Rene. Raymar. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, say that again. Both of you said something different. Renair. Renair. Okay. So can I talk to Renair for a moment? Yeah, absolutely. Would you like me to pull you aside for this? Uh, No, I, I can say it in front of everybody. I just wanted to say something real quick before we go any further. Okay. Uh, And then... Uh, Fen is going to say um, that we want to find Floon, and if he's really friends, he'll help us find him. Um, but you look really uncomfortable, so I'm going to untie you, and you're you're going to be unbound, but you're going to stick with us, okay? Okay. It kind of like nods, of course, like, Floon is a good friend of mine. Even as someone as uh, intimidating as you are, uh, if I can, can help, can I, I gladly will. Cool. Can I see this going on at all? Yeah, they're only a couple steps away. All right. I roll my eyes very obviously. Renair doesn't that. notice you. I don't know if <laughs> Zykin notices you. No, Fenziris does not notice this either. Not not concerned. <laughs> but as you as this happens, he, he points down the alleyway and goes, It's actually but I remember just around the corner and down a little bit. But I could be wrong. Like I said, I was unconscious. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess we follow. Um, let him lead the way, and Hold I uh, play a tune. Hold on, they're 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 doing their investigation thing on the other side there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Anybody want to do anything else with the pole? Um, <laughs> how how like how large is it? How cumbersome is it to carry? Uh, roll me an investigation check. Uh, to your eyes, at first glance, it appears to be relatively weighty. Okay. Uh, um... The same thing I did in the room, can I have, uh, City sniff around to see if she can either track the journal, because it smells vaguely of Jaeger, or of whoever took it? Yeah. I have her sheet. That's right. Out here, no Siri. The uh, Siri does seem to get a sort of scent of something. Whether it's what it is, you're not sure. But after sniffing the pole, uh, the bigger sized wolf darts off down the alleyway and around the corner is it the same direction that the um, Renair said we should go it is okay cool Finn's just gonna follow city okay the rest of you see <laughs> Finn run off or the rest of you following uh yeah Oi, yeah up. reluctantly <laughs> Basil obviously follows and she's hopping along Wait up! You're going so fast! My hopes can only keep up so much! Alright, as you, you get down there, you see uh, it's about 
five or ten minute jog for you all. As you follow Siri before the, the wolf stops in front of what appears to be a grate of some kind. Uh, that seemingly has a small lock on it. It's relatively shiny for this area of town and seems to be not as disturbed as the uh, the rest of the surrounding area. And the grate, is it on the ground? Is it like in it, the... It is like, it's like a street? manhole cover kind of grate. Okay. Drainage He's, cover. Um, it has a lock on it? Yes. A very small circular lock. Uh, it has like a keyhole? Uh, it does. Here, let me try this. I cast press the digitation to summon a minor item, a uh, lock pick, and then use it to uh, try to pick it. Okay, are you proficient in thieves tools? Nope, so I don't add my proficiency bonus, just dexterity. Okay, then go ahead and roll dexterity. What is it? I think it's considered sleight of hand. But... No, you are not able to pick the lock. Okay, worth a shot. Uh, Finn's gonna look at you and tell you, do that again, but give it to me. Okay, press the digitation. And I hand her the pick. Him the pick. And I am proficient in these tools. Oh, perfect. So what do I roll? Uh, I roll dexterity and add your proficiency modifier. Okay, what is my proficiency modifier? Oh, two. Okay. Uh, ability check, and I can add plus two. Two. Yeah. Do I have to go plus two, or can I just? I think I can just type in two. Yeah, you should be able to just type it in. Nope. Nope. You are not able to get it open it. either. No. Um, Fen impatiently is going to walk up to the grate that they're all crowding around. Doesn't even care if they move out of the way or not. And then just goes to stomp the lock. Roll me just, just, strength. Oh. <laughs> just. Brute force it! Woo! We love it. <laughs> nope. Also, what are all these your foot <laughs> stomps down and you damn near make Finn jump. As the ringing, like, fills the air. Does it at least damage the grate and maybe dent it a little or something? No. <laughs> Damn. Well, then, now he's going to walk away in a huff and be like, Grr! Can I see through the grate? There are holes you can see down. There is a, a small ladder leading further down into the darkness. Okay. How how big is the hole holes on the grate? Uh, a couple, like three or four feet wide, enough that all of you could go down one by one. You couldn't all go in together, but roughly. Wait, normal. we can just we can just fit through the holes in the grate. No, no, not the no, holes. No, no, I thought no, you the meant hole. how big the hole was. That it's like, yeah, the no, grate that's covered. Oh. I want I want to know how big the holes in the grate are. Oh, Sorry. okay. Uh, like a couple inches at most. Okay, so too small for like me or Nemo to slip through. Got it. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> what's the what's the area around us? Is this like a tunnel? Uh, you no, see the like ladder outside, leading but... down into darkness, but other than that, you can't tell what's further down the ladder. We're and just this, on the street. Yeah, we're on the street. Okay, so hmm. it's a it's a drainage uh, tunnel. Fox, can uh -huh. I use? At... You do you do what you want to do first. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I have Basil look around to see if there's like any signs that maybe there's a, a key that's left somewhere, somewhere like you know how people sometimes like leave the spare key under the rock or something uh, yeah go ahead and roll perception uh, no yeah. you don't see anything <laughs> Um, uh, as you all are watching this, Finn simply takes a step forward and disappears. Um, yeah, I would like to reappear on the ladder. Yeah, you, you, you're just there on the ladder. Oh, oh how'd you do that? Meh. 
I want to uh, use acid splash on the lock. Oh my god! Uh, well, great... Go for it. You know what? You've now got an elf oh, under no. that lock, but let's go god. for it. God, you better move fast. Go ahead and roll uh, the damage. Creatures you see within range. Well, it's only creatures. I mean, does it have to be a creature? No, it says you throw a bubble of ooze. Of acid, choose one or two creatures you can see within range. That's up range. to Fox. I mean, yeah. the creatures mo- are for using in combat. I'll say that you can use it outside. So yeah, you can hurl it at it. Go ahead and roll the damage for it. Okay. Nice. Uh, so you you like see Nemu like wobble around a little bit. Clearly, still struggling to work off the effects of that drop of whatever the fuck was in Renair's flask. Inebriated. Um, and as it, it, the feathers start like forming this orb of greenish brownish liquid which Nimu then like drunkenly throws towards the lock oh no Um, however it does not just hit the lock as the lock is like a two inch thing um the bubble of acid goes through Finn I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw I was about to say can I dodge this yeah I I apologize, but this is just what's going to happen. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. No, it's in canon. It's fine. It's a very small space. Yeah, I'll say that you you go down and you dodge most of it as it hits the back side of the like hole, the tunnel, the the I guess the grate, um, or the back side of like what is it? The hole with the ladder attached to it. The back side of the hole. Mm-hmm. Um. But you do still get a little bit on it. I'll say you take like two damage. Okay. Um. But it does completely melt the lock as well as most of the grate. Nemo is God. Nemo has done what needed to be done. Well, you did did ascend last night, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. I, I start love this little bird. And Finn's just gonna like shake off the hand that it fell on. I start singing a song praising Nemo's ingen- ingenuity. Nemo does a little dance. <laughs> eh, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. It's okay. I have cure wounds if you need it. If you need it. All right, we all lead down into the grate, I suppose. Yep, 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 yep. Fox, can my character actually fit in this hole? <laughs> That it is a squeeze, but though. you can. You do gotta uh, like suck your gut in, but you can do it. I hope right. you're not claustrophobic there, Ow. I will say once you're down in the tunnels, you will need to like be hunched over a little bit. Not fully bent over, but like a little bit. Okay. As he's going down, Nemo like goes down after him and kinda like picks his foot on the bullseye to be like, get down there, boy. You gotta fit. You you feel like this tapping on the top of your head, mm-hmm. like against your horns, as the small bird foot is like, keep going. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my horns <laughs> to 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 whack away the bird. Go ahead and roll the hit. <laughs> Headbutt. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god! Go ahead and crit. Crit. Damn. Oh my god, against no, Nemo. Nemo. Oh Nemo's no. gonna break legs, oh bro. Uh, you take. So you see the 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 the, the minute You literally and... knocked out <laughs> Nemo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nemo's fucking. So you, the you, way like, you tilt killed your head him. And, like shove it up a little bit, and suddenly the foot stops, and you feel this weight thud on your head, as the bird is just completely unconscious. Damn bird! Uh, yeah, and it's like yeah, dripping yeah. blood over your oh, head. No. <laughs> just continues to climb down with the dead bird. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> RP <R. P>. Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> he only no, has like he's gonna need that cure wounds, not me. Kazuya <laughs> starts writing in his journal, do not piss off the bull. You mess with the bull, you literally get the horns. 
I was just trying to help him down the hole. He didn't seem to fit. <laughs> oh, I'm immensely entertained at this. Where's the popcorn? Why is he bleeding too? Uh, tall, as you call him, is not going to respond. It just, just like tilts his head and dumps the bird at, uh, on the ground. <laughs> so the the bird hits the ground in the sewer filth. Oh. As you guys are like ankle deep in like sewage and sewer water, it's and the bird is just coated. Thanks. When you said you were ascending, this is not what we meant. To infinity. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know what to do. Oh, no. I uh, I go and I I very tentatively grab the corner of the bird's wing and just pull it up by its wing, kind of hold it out. I reach into its pocket, Don't grab that actual alcohol mixture, and pour it over the bird's wound. Oh there my we god! Go. That'll prevent sepsis. No, no sepsis today. I toss the bird back in the muck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you at least leave me some of the alcohol? Or did you pour all of that good shit out? <laughs> it, <laughs> it's saving you. your life, and it's getting you especially fucked up. Yeah, You're welcome. The good shit is gone! I can't believe we just did that. Pesnia lights up the area. I'm assuming it's dark with his glow. Yes, it is. It is almost pitch black. So, if you don't have dark you've vision, got you dark have... vision. It's pitch black for you. I do have dark vision, but I'm still gonna light up a little light. Makes me feel better. Uh, uh, does uh, anyone did, gonna help Nemu? Did Renair follow us? <laughs> yes, Down he the did. Hall. I am. Okay, just making sure. I will help you in a second. I'm just looking at this thing and wondering why do I, I have so many spells. <laughs> does does, does the druid have good guy. berries to shove down the bird's throat? Okay. Um, can Basil do cure wounds on Nemu, please? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, does go it for it. Does require anything? That's all the hey, Mimu's hey. now. <laughs> Mimu's now back to full health. The, the, the bunny nice comes done. over and this is like, get the fuck up. This isn't what we meant by ascending. And Nimu stirs and like flicks a wing out and the, the sewage filth gets all over like some of you. He's definitely... I... Sorry, go no, go ahead. You just like. Oh, I was gonna say I use pressed digitation to keep my clothes clean at all times. I'm just constantly muttering to myself with each step. <laughs> uh, Basil will help when she helps up Nemo. She's like gonna like pat um, his cheeks. Like so, like, since Nemo had shit poured in his wound. Oh, um, I was about to ask. Can we roll to see how drunk Nemo is right now? Yeah. Let's get is that one how of them alcohol constitution works? saving throw. I mean, <laughs> it's the constitution into her or the charisma? Because last time it was charisma, so it's constitution, constitution. now. Constitution. Oh god! Huh? Come on, Nemo! Yes, Nemo's Nemo's definitely struggling, like struggling, but is is able to move around. You know, like a. Uh, at like the old like car lots and they had like that big like blow up dude that just waves around his arms and shit. Wacky waving completable arm flailing tube man. Damn yeah, it, you beat me to it. That thingy. That's kind of what Nemo's going on right now. He's like Woo! <laughs> Seeing the mood, I start making my light do like a little disco show. Bam, bam, bam. It's like a raven here. So, okay. Uh, I would like to continue down the tunnel. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So as light, you as you go, there's cool. no natural light. So the only light you guys have is Kesnia's orb. 
which isn't very bright. It's like a candle. So if anybody has any torches, we can light those instead. Uh, if not, let's go. As you guys walk, you see a putrid stream flows along the sewer tunnel, which leads in two directions. In one direction, you see a tiny symbol drawn on the wall in yellow chalk. A palm-sized mm. circle with ten equidistant spokes radiating out from its circumference. Well, let's take a closer look at that. I'll walk over. Ooh, that's reminiscence of the yellow lights, right? The yellow lines, I should say. All of the tunnels. Yellow lines. lines. Oh, wait. Yes, you are right. That Kenku said something about following the yellow lines in the sewer. Uh, Finn is going to look to Sidian, uh, who's like partially in and out of his shadow, to see which way she thinks they should go. You see the the spectral wolf kind of nose in the direction of the yellow chalk. Okay, okay, yes. All right, do I recognize the symbolage here? Uh, roll me insight. You said describe it for me one more time, Fox. A tiny symbol in yellow chalk, a palm-sized circle with ten equidistant spokes radiating radiating out from its circumference. So like a small sun? Or perhaps a wheel? Or yeah, a wheel. Some type of... What is it, Fox? Is it a sun or a wheel? It's... I'll let you guys determine that. Okay. <laughs> Praise the sun. It looks like a sun symbol. Praise the sun, godly doe. Um, Isn't it pale? <laughs> Kesnia, you kind of recognize this mark as one of the other factions. Oh. But you're not entirely sure which one. Dang it, I should have paid better attention. Anyways, I don't tell anybody that, my, that I recognize it. Let's just follow it where it leads. The rest of you continue <laughs> down or do anything you guys else? Just hear Nemo say, uh, the sun, I asked Renair know. if he knows anything about the sewers yeah, or the know. yellow signs. He tells you he has no idea. He recognized the grate before the bird uh, amalgamated it with acid. Mm -hmm. Um. But beyond that, he has no idea what's down here. Okay. <laughs> but he does try to, like, gently reassure you that he's not going to run off. He's like, cool. he, uh, of all this royal pride shit, and like, I'll he fight with you guys. He fucking traumatized the child. <laughs> what? I said he fucking traumatized the poor kid. <laughs> <laughs> Saw me stab a bird, and it's like, yeah, I don't He's want to like, do that. Yes, daddy. <laughs> yes, sir. Anything for you, sir. Please don't choke me out, sir. <laughs> I mean, who or knows? Do. Maybe he'd like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't kink shame in this household. All right, so I guess I'm taking the lead with my orb. I'm going to try to a little bit. follow this path. Is there another symbol, or is there like a constant line of that we're following? Like, what is this trail? Uh, there are markings on there, but they're just symbols. There's no, like, lion. Okay, so, like, ever so often, there's just another symbol. Yes. So we know we're going along the same way, the right way. Okay, we follow it. So as you guys go down, about after roughly an hour. Oh, we still haven't eaten. Following these signs through the tunnels, you come to a three-way intersection. Uh, where a ladder leads up into a stone shaft capped by a circular metal cover. One of the familiar chalk symbols is marked on a wall nearby, and floating near the symbol is a spherical grapefruit-sized creature with a bulging central eye and four stumpy eye stalks, which bears its teeth at you. Fucking beholder. Oh, Lord. Um... I cast a spell in it. Damn it, I was about to say it's time to Scooby-Doo this shit and split up, gang, but... What is that? I don't like it. It does it look like the plushie we saw in the store? Uh, definitely less like 
I hate to use this word, but almost like less regal. Mm-hmm. It looks sort of like it has less eye stalks. The one in uh, the okay. window, I believe, had ten. Okay. Um, but this one only has four, and it's also like this one's only like the size of a grapefruit. Okay. It's really it not bear- that big. It so... bears. It bared its teeth at us. Yes. Okay. And how big is this space we're in now? Uh, it's roughly ten feet between you and it. And roughly five feet wide. So city would not fit. Correct. Okay, got it. Well, I think I'd be afraid and throw out my highest damage spell, which is probably not the smartest thing to do, but Kesnia is like caught off guard and like that scared the shit out of me. So zap away if it's my turn. Yeah, you can do it. Combat hasn't initiated yet. Yet. I say, uh, are we supposed to be seeing that map? What map? This one, the the one on stream. Oh, I just don't have stream no, you're open. Not yet. I, I'm waiting. I have it open, but I don't. I don't look. Oh, uh, why isn't it letting me cast the spell? Anyways, uh, are you out of charges? I mean, I guess so. Oh, I think uh, I accidentally cast it earlier. My bad. I'll just roll it up here. Sorry, where did it go? Yeah, I was I was accidentally pressing buttons. Um, attack. Do I hit? Probably not. Uh, you do not. Damn it! Okay. So you watch as this bolt of light, crackling and splitting off into small lightning bolt shaped shaped appendages just <laughs> shoots past the 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 grapefruit sized object scorching the wall behind it uh yeah that sucked um i pull out my sword okay at this point it still hasn't done anything what really? so hold on can you d- describe what it looks like again I can show you guys what that helps. Oh, little please, mini, how... little mini beholder wannabe. Baby holder. Baby holder. It like hissed at me, so that's why I thought it was like attacking. Please oh. see bulletin board. What it, what it, what it. I love how I see all the cursors what go to the right board. side. <laughs> <laughs> Mine goes to the left. That thing is ugly. That's what's looking at you and like. It's... Hey, where's the bulletin board? I'm sorry. It's For ugly, sure. but it could be a really cool pet. Discord into the under mountain, under the bar. Oh, gotcha. In Discord, my bad. Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah, guys. I would definitely cast lightning at that guy. That's guys, fun. guys, we're in its home. Why do we attack the little strange man when we're the intruders? He oh. does. Okay. He hissed because we're the problem, not right, let's, it. Let's move past it then. I don't know about it's getting where close the symbols to it. are, right? The, yeah, the symbol. The that symbol we're the, there's a there's a version of the symbol on the wall right behind this thing. And it's a there only one of these things in the room. The two other paths don't have one. The two other paths don't have one. Okay. However, the two other paths are backwards or up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there's only... Got it. Well, I try to go to the door. Is it going to try to interfere? If so, I poke it with my sword. The door? Like, well, wait, it's like okay. in front of the path that we want to go to? It's just that. a tunnel. Yeah, that tunnel. I want to go through that tunnel that it's guarding. So, uh, okay. It's not that big, right? It's only a grapefruit size. I should be able to like walk right past it. You, you, you can walk up to it and attempt to walk past it. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Sure. And then make me a wisdom saving throw. Oof. All right, so you 
w- get close to it as you attempt to walk past it, and two of its eye stalks immediately focus on you, Kesnia. One of which fires out a beam of blue light, which misses you. Uh, and the other one hits you in the arm with a pinkish light, um, which charms you. Cool. Mm. Uh, it shortly after uh, immediately says in Nimu's voice what Nimu had (laughs) just stated (laughs) okay am I still free we're in its house we're the intruders Um, because of the tunnel are we all like kind of single file a little Through bit, it. yeah. Okay. And I'm in the back because I'm the big one. <laughs> you can attempt Uh-oh. to make your way forward. Am I f- <laughs> prevented from doing anything right now? Uh, you can't attack it or target it. And the thing has any advantage on anything required to interact socially with you. Okay, I still walk past it. Yeah, you, you, you walk past it. Okay, what's down this tunnel? Uh, You see there's an area there. Okay, I go and check it out, as if nothing's going on with that eyeball. That's how I'm going to interpret charm. <laughs> well, what about the rest of you? You kind of see this hit Eldrick and or Kesnia, and Kesnia kind of acts like this eyeball suddenly doesn't exist. Mm. Nemo will just walk right past it. Just ignore it. Uh, I, need I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw and a strength saving throw. Oh, fuck. A strength saving throw? <laughs> strength saving throw. So dexterity and strength? Yep. No, strength Sorry, wisdom, and wisdom. Sorry, wisdom and strength. Wisdom, wisdom and strength. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Not for that strength saving throw. Not bad. Not bad. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> uh, so once again, two uh, two different <laughs> eye stalks turn and focus on Nemo. The others kind of returning to watch the group. One of them shoots a like dark purple beam, um, which misses Nemo. And the other one is a clear, sort of uh, gently lit beam that actually picks Nimu off the ground and throws her about directly into you guys. Like, she collides with the first person in the line. I mean, it's like, I make a dex throw to to dodge. It's telekinesis. you You don't dodge that. That is, you are being moved. Sorry. So we're all being moved. Well, Nemo I'm just hit you guys. Moved. The rest of you are still there. Which isn't much. Nemo, like... Yeah, Nemo doesn't weigh all that much. It's like <laughs> getting hit with a pillow. I'm gonna be real with y'all. It's like 20 pounds of dog food or some shit. <laughs> so, like, y'all uh, can step about, out of the way if you about, want. About how far away from me is, uh, is Kesnia? Uh, Kesnia is all the way down the tunnel. And how about how far... Is that maybe like forty or fifty feet? All right, perfect. I will just step and disappear into thin air and appear precisely thirty feet down into the tunnel. Okay, so you managed to get past the gazer. Uh, Nemo, you hit. <laughs> we'll say that the uh, occasion you step to avoid Nemo. And disappear as Nemo goes, like, through you. Can Nemo try and catch himself before he falls with his wings? <laughs> Trashy, are you okay? Fly. Sorry. No, that's not me. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's Sarah. Okay. Oh, because I'm hearing what sounded like crying. No, that's my husband in the back. Losing his shit. 
Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, Nemo. Um, we can say that you can. You can too. try to once you collide, we can try to see if you stand up. You get upright. So go ahead and roll me that dexterity. Say that dexterity. Yeah. Okay. Normal. Yeah. Oh, did Dick use his starlight step? Yes, he did. Indeed. <laughs> All right, you do manage here. So you watch as you collide with Finn, but uh, oh. manage to right yourself. Just catches catches Nemo on my staff, lets him slide down it, and then lands. I I like to think in this head cannon that Nemo like does like a circular spin around the staff, like, <laughs> around the staff, out, and then just like, comes. I'm with, here, yeah. bitches. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, might as well be. With that roll, though, that's great. Yeah, very graceful. Nemu uh, turns around to Finn and bows in apologies, and then he turns to where the the little head thingy is, and he bows in apologies. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Yes, I am the problem. You hear the thing aggressively mimic back uh, in your voice that I am the problem. No, I am the problem. You're not the problem. I am the problem. <laughs> you you oh, begin no. to hear it start to fight back where it just continues to mimic the uh the I am the problem. <laughs> Nemo just goes back and forth. He's trying to tell it he's the problem and it's saying that it, he's just I'm this is just gonna be a back and forth that just keeps going. I'm gonna tell you this right now. <laughs> Nemo's too fucked up for this. So what do the rest of you do as the bird and this eye are busy like arguing? Uh, um, let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna tell you right now. This I just, <laughs> keeps apologizing. What is Basil Nemo doing? We'll start apologizing. In I was speech. I was looking at. Did you ask me? Did you? Did I just hear yeah. what Basil doing? Uh, I was currently looking at my spells because that for a clarification. Um, but it's not gonna want to do what I wanted to. Um, while Basil or sorry, while Nemo has it busy arguing, she's just feel like okay, it's fine. It will not. It will not, uh, it will, uh, like, talk, like, prep, pi piping herself out, up, because of the trauma from the plush that looks just like this creature. Uh -huh. <laughs> and she's just gonna, like, s like, she'll take a carrot out of her bag as, like, a just-in-case kind of thing, as, like, an op to offer it to the creature and be like, look, I give you carrot if you let me go through. But as she is holding this big carrot, she's just gonna, like, scoot and try to go past it while it's arguing with Nemu. Uh, as you get up close to it once again, it continues arguing with Nemu, but one of its eye stalks just turns and twists and looks at you. Nemu starts ah. yelling in deep speech, apologizing to it now. <laughs> so now the thing is now mimicking deep speech. Oh, God. <laughs> so you've got this Listen. creature, these deep fucking abyssal voices that are just echoing off the walls and this eye stalk ah! is staring down at the small bunny I need you to make a wisdom saving throw oh she was going to say something to it before anything happened what, what do you okay. want to say to it she's going to be like ah ah um, here would you like this instead it's, it's very yummy Please, I, I, I don't want to hurt anybody. I, I just want to go join my friends. Would you like the carrot? You see it turn like, to you and just her like trembling scream it. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and you said wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, there it is. Uh, you manage to, to console yourself out of it, um, and manage to slip by just running down the hallway. Okay, she's just, like, you just see, like, her ears flapping behind her, like, holding this carrot to her chest, like, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> skittering. <sighs> <sighs> that was very scary. I don't like this... it. I didn't like it to do. As that thing is like chanting in deep speak, <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> yeah, it's now chanting because Nemu's chanting in deep speak, so it's chanting in deep speak. She's Basil is definitely gonna start stress eating on the carrot. So now we've Just got Finn, uh, Nemu, and Fen who are left in the hallway. Yeah. What would the the two of you, Finn and Fen, like to do? <clears throat> Sorry. Wait a second. What? Trashy. Zygon. Hello? Trash, you muted. Why? I can hear. Jesus Christ. I just love you. I want you to... I want to... <laughs> no, I was waiting for the shenanigans behind me to end. Uh, um, Finn's probably just waiting to see wha what everybody else does. He has a foolproof way through, so he's waiting to see what the, the Minotaur does so he can convince the owl to shut the fuck up and move along. Okay. Okay, then Fenziris who the deep speech has now really, really irritated him. Uh, because for some reason that uh, that has an effect on animals and animal-like creatures. Um, and also remembering what Nimu said about we're in its home and we're the invaders. And that also really irritates him. He's not a very nice person, this, this bull guy. So he's gonna... He's gonna rage... Oh. What? Oh. You're gonna and and roar and instead of like normally because we're in a somewhat compact space, but he's gonna get on all fours. <laughs> okay. Ew. And essentially, uh, do per, I mean technically it's a Gorgon rush, but it's not. I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, and and just rush this thing in this space as hard as possible with his horns in, in a charging attack. Uh, wow. As a reaction, I want to use shield. <laughs> <laughs> Please? Yeah, you might want to get out of the way. <laughs> or actually... I'm, no, I'm actually, nowhere near this thing, so I think I'm... Uh, okay. Actually, no. Nemu's gonna, like... Can, ne ne can Nemu hear this oh, yeah. starting to go on and look behind him? And can he just fly... Mm -hmm. As high as he can in this tunnel. Yeah, the two of you literally hear, hell, the rest of you hear this roar echo down, <laughs> this angry, fucking hate filled roar echo down this tunnel. Um, if there was anything that didn't know you were there, it knows you're there now. Um, right. Damn it. But uh, go ahead and roll to see if you actually rush and hit this thing. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll say Nemo that you do immediately go up upon hearing as like a defense mechanism. On roll. That's a terrible <laughs> roll. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no. Uh, we'll say that you miss. <laughs> but do I keep going? <laughs> you do, do I, keep going. Do I miss just and like, go past it? <laughs> like full on train mode, just like straight down the thing. Oh my god, Basil. You, you missed oh, shit, I'm just strolling. I'm just strolling at the end of this tunnel. Yeah. It's 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 like seeing eyes that are suddenly rushing you. You just see in the darkness or through the the little candlelight of Kesnia's orb the three of you just see these red eyes that are just getting closer. And the sound <laughs> of disturbed like sewage water and snorting <laughs> and it's getting faster and faster and louder and louder <laughs> I jump against oh, the I, wall and get out of the way I aim my gun behind me oh god shoot it at the ground and several little uh, about foot and a half bumps just rise up now like, it... big enough to catch you know feet if, I, if I'm running past this thing and there's like, how much distance is between wherever this thing was and the rest of the party at this point? So it was like 40 or 50 feet down. I'll say you have made it like 25 and maybe 30 feet. 
yeah, I think by that point I I would have run out of steam <laughs> in that moment. Yeah, so we'll say you hit these bumps and literally slide like six or seven feet as your your the red in your eyes fade and you're just coated in sewage at this point. <sighs> but you're not near the deep anymore. Is he close to me? Yeah, he he's with he's like five or six feet away from you guys. I like whisper like 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 I don't want him to hear. I start whispering, press the digitation, and then reach out and touch him to make him clean again because that's gross. <laughs> I'd only clean a patch of him though; he's too big. <laughs> so he just has a, a weird clean patch. <laughs> so how are we supposed to get our bro? And Nemu passed this damn thing. <laughs> yeah, because Rainair is still there, right? Well, it says you can clean or soil an object. I don't Up know if you can clean his feet. fur. Um, because fur is not an object. That ooh, I guess so. You're saying I couldn't clean my skin. I can only clean my clothes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, I clean his loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sure. I do what I can, like literally. Okay. Anyway, someone said something when I started talking. Uh, how are we gonna? How do we get dude, the guy best? Dude, bro. So Rain, I am Rain still charmed. So I'm not thinking about that eye as an enemy. I thought we all made it past our friendly eyeball up there, dude. Nope. At this point, you're actually not charmed. Oh, it only lasted a turn, a single turn. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, fuck that guy. Um, we can go back and uh, jump him from behind and, and clear the way for our friends. I... <laughs> yes, Nemo. Kind of like a fly. <laughs> um... Why don't you try telling it you're just going to walk past? Can I see the eyeball? Like, is it still hovering in front of the, of the, of the, of the tunnel? Oh, I'll say still, at this point you can't see away. it. It's far okay. enough down the tunnel that it's in the darkness. And my dark vision is ruined because I'm using the light, right? Yeah. Gotcha. All of our Um I don't have dark vision. Well, uh I I it, I don't know. I don't know if it's like my turn or whatever, but uh, I guess I would go back and see how is it's going. Is the eyeball only intent on what's in front of it and not what's behind it? Uh, it seems to be that way. It doesn't turn. It's just focused on that direction of the tunnel. Well, if I can see it, I'll cast Chill Touch, 120 feet range. Uh, you can go till you can see it. You'll be like 20 or 30 feet away from it. 20 feet, maybe. That's, but that's you can still fine. like cast it. All right. So go ahead and hit the. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That does hit. Yay! Yeah, yeah. And that does. You actually do like gash through it. Um, it's still alive, but it falls to the ground, like flopping around in the sewage. So the bitch slap that formed in front of it using a skeletal hand just I'm sent it spinning to the ground? Yeah, it's it sent it spinning to the ground and it's like bleeding into the sewage and like just basically like not having it's in de like almost damn near death throws. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey big minotaur dude you wanted something to smash go smash, go, go stomp on that. Um... Hearing this, I turn around and I'm like, "Hell yeah, let's do this!" <laughs> yeah, and... he's rage, right? <laughs> You're speaking his love language, violence. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so yeah, I turn around and I I come back to the direction of the of the sounds and uh, pushing past um, Kesnia, I I I get up to the thing and and try to smash it again. In, in the in the sewage. Go ahead and roll your damage. It's it's not moving much. You're, you you will hit it. Would we consider that an in, unarmed attack? Prone. Yeah. 
In okay. shock and fear, I run away, seeing that you're going to make a big splash of sewage. I want to roll, but let's just say that that it that it works because yeah, it's, it's just it's being a hit. bitch. Okay. Yeah, so you stomp on it and it it like squishes. Yeah. And sewage and gross blood goes flying upwards. Yeah, it's it's if you ever stepped out a balloon and popped it, you know how it goes everywhere. <laughs> That's kind of what happens. Dude, I got <sighs> balloons yesterday. Seriously, I was running away from it like it was a fireball. Like I was like, <gasps> no, and I start running. <laughs> yeah. Did I avoid it? You did. Okay. You <laughs> you managed to put yourself behind Fen. Enough that you you were like in that safe spot. Nice. But uh, Nemu, Finn, and Fen all got coated in its like guts and blood. Whoa! Who was it that close to it? Yeah, you were. I was, was the across the line. room. You haven't moved. No, it, you'd step. My oh, well, That's fair. It would yeah, help if we had map map visualization. You guys will get there as soon as you get through this. Cool, cool. All right, well, now that that's over, ugh, gross, uh, but let's carry on. And don't touch me, that looks foul. My apologies, I had to step away for something. Can I be filled in real quick what happened last minute? Is everything it's okay, Bones? Dead. Yeah, my, my car launch has been acting up the last couple of weeks. It keeps going off randomly, so I gotta take it. Okay. Lame. Okay. So, well, do you want to catch her up? Yeah, they, they, they murdered this eye thing. They bitch slapped it and then Fen stomped on it. <laughs> and it went squish. We. I like to think that's it's some sort of stomp like in Dead Space where you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was picturing. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys head through, because I'm assuming you guys are continuing further down. Yes. Back the what, is the, the path. what is the marching order? I assume since I have the light, I'll be in the front. Uh, I am now behind uh, Kesnia. Are you behind Kesnia? Where's Rainier? I thought you were going to be like... Rainier um, is, is very last behind uh, the other three at this point. Unless okay, you no, no scoo rear... scooch past. Someone should be rear guard. Sorry. Nemo will be rear... It's not smart. <laughs> I am uh I'm I'm stuffed in between Kesney and the bull man. So See Nemo's good vacation. since he's still kind of fucked up. He's just gonna like Finn will be he, with the he, bird. He's just gonna have like his hand holding what's his fucking hold on. I have his name written down. Do you uh, actually have hands? Uh, uh, Renair, whatever the fuck. Renair, he's, yeah. He's just like, like a toddler, just like holding like a, a corner of like a piece of his pants, <laughs> and just like walking with him. While, while he's all I like, have like you now. I'm, I'm surprised that you aren't like flying above this muck because it's only ankle deep on most people, but you are not most people. It's probably really deep on you. Nemo's fucked up right now, dude. <laughs> Nemo doesn't think of his shit. Ne most of Nemo's blood is alcohol right now. <laughs> Nemo cannot drink and fly. It's purified yeah. from the inside. It's, it's drunk flying. All right, sorry. Let's get back to this. Uh, order is Kesnia, then Dication, then um, Finn the Minotaur. Uh, Fen, Fen the Minotaur. And then who's after Fen the Minotaur? Uh, uh, I have it said as Basil, Finn, Finn, and then Basil, Nemo. Finn, Nemo. Yeah. Basil, Finn, Nemo. All right. Okay. And then Renar? Yeah, and then Renar. For, okay. for lack of thing, unless it's combat, I'm not going to have you guys move him around. I'm going to assume that he's staying with the party, just so everyone okay. is aware. His token okay. will not be on the field, but he is with you. Okay. In spirit. He's with us always. As you guys enter, you guys come down and oh. expands ahead. You see a seemingly circular hub with a uh, a pair of arrow slits carved into its outer walls. Arrows. What, is, what is this path here I see in front of me? Is that an arrow slit? 
Uh, it is it is like a small hole in the wall. It's not big enough for any of you to fit. It's like a like a little rat hole. Is it light enough for any of us to to kind of see? Yeah, you guys could like if you get down on all fours, you guys could see through it. Okay, I look through it. What do I see? Uh, inside. You got down on all fours in the muck. I can clean it. <laughs> I like squat down. I like squat down with just my feet, just just my feet, so my hands aren't dirty. Squat down. Uh, as you look, it appears to be a basement or a cellar of some establishment. Um, appears to be relatively well kept. All right, I continue on. Is everybody following behind? I am. Um... Yes. <laughs> There's not much room, so. Big man with horns, move it! Uh, big man with horns just uh, snarls back at, at the bird. <laughs> now tall. Pat, pat. It's not gonna help anything if you snort it in like that. Uh, tell that bird to keep quiet. Are you guys coming? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna tell. He's a very talkative bird. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, it had to be done. <laughs> so Kesnia like harshly whispers, "Are you guys coming?" Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gonna keep moving. We would have something wasn't clogging the bowels. So I get out out of the muck up on the side. I can move your token. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize we were in a map. I'm looking at my face. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <Are you doing? laughs> I um, thought. I, is I, there I, I, enough like, room to real. have? Nahara on his shoulders, like in his <laughs> actual sorry. image. Yeah, you can you can do that. Okay. Yeah. That's how Gosh, the fuck out of me. Finn, Finn is I didn't realize notice... we were actually on a map map this time. <laughs> Finn is gonna notice all the whispering and just say in his normal voice, Yeah, I think they know we're here already. Oh, really? <sighs> yeah, the, case, the enraged I... bull didn't clue them in. I think the the arguing in deep might have. Fair enough, then. I start singing a very uh, obnoxious tune. Uh, I need people to roll perception. Okay. Roger that. Do we... Does Dark Vision give us anything here, Fox, for perception? Or is it all normal? Uh, if you've got Dark Vision... Uh, with the light that Kesney is giving off, it's all normal. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm blocking people's normal vision. Yeah, I don't I ain't got oh, shit. That was a cool effect, though. Well, Fendril, <laughs> Fendril isn't seeing anything. Yeah, no. I um, can't see anything past the goddamn giant bull in front of me. But, Fen, in your... your, your I, I, I hate to call it this, but post-rage clarity. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's fine as well as uh, Kesnia as you're walking around you notice that certain parts of the walls up here seem to look a little bit different different how <laughs> um, as you as you look over and your hands go against the walls you actually realize that there is as you press you find that this part of the wall actually opens up like a secret door or like crumbles away <laughs> Yeah, there's a doorway here. Um, I'm gonna go and push you into this over. doorway. Yeah, it's straight over. Don't mind the the lines. That's the outside of the map. Okay. And I change the lyrics of my song to the and the bull finds the door. <laughs> oh, what you find? Uh, what do I see through this doorway? Uh, as you go in, it's just a small hallway. Nothing of any real importance. It's made of stone. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a door on the far end. Are there any symbols anywhere inside this hallway? 
Uh, not that you can see. Um, I try to push through the door. I try to open the door, rather. Uh, the door does swing open. Whoosh. As you look uh, out, you see another door it. next to you, as well as stairs that are going down mm -hmm. um, into a big area. In the middle of this otherwise empty room is a stone pillar. Mm -hmm. um, seemingly innocuous. Um, there's a, what would you call this, a chamber? There's a chamber in here. Chamber of secrets, sorry. Basil's gonna peek back out into the hallway. Oi, Tho found the secret tunnel! Oh. Um, I'm gonna carefully step in oh, no, and look around for other creatures or anything that for might make, jump out. Make me a perception check. Um. Does my character see what my character token sees? <laughs> I saw that uh, too. From here, no. <laughs> that's just a glitch in the map. Okay, no worries. Glitch in the matrix. Pretend there's nothing there. Oh, that was performance. My bad. Excuse me. I'm dyslexic. Leave la 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 la! Minotaur sings. <laughs> Perception. Oh, I, w I wish I had the performance skill check instead. <laughs> uh, no, you don't. You don't see any creatures. Just so you know, you're better anything. at singing than you are at looking. Um, I'm gonna take a hard left and go through this door. What's uh, in here? <laughs> as you open, uh, yeah, Siri can come out. Thank you. Um, just wanted to make sure. I'll say if there's, like, five feet of space around you, you can bring Siri out, just for okay. a thing. Um, as you open the door, there is a dude in here that immediately turns around a goblin that turns and holds a bow to you and fires a shot just at you oh, in shit. sheer surprise. Uh, which way does the door open? Does it open with the with the door to the right or to the left? It opens this way. Okay, to the right. Gotcha. Oh, I have to be right back. So does he hit me, or does he just hit the, the, the door next to me, as I haven't stepped in yet? Uh, what's your AC? Uh, what is my AC? That's a that's a good uh, 13. Uh, yeah, he definitely hits you. Ow. <clears throat> he bellows. Uh, which deals eight damage to you as the arrow punctures through one of your your like left side of your chest. Ow! You said eight damage. Eight damage. Uh. So can and... you just target my thing and and force the the damage to me so I don't have to do it? Yes, you both okay. are now in combat as well. So I okay. Need to roll initiative. Me too. Uh, it, not you, unless you want to be in combat. I do. Okay, then yeah. If I nice. heard him get shot, I'm gonna be like, "What's going on?" Right. Uh, initiative. There you go. Go ahead and roll initiative. Not very good. <laughs> I'm very caught off guard. <laughs> which it rolled a twenty, so it's <laughs> it went first, which means it's now Kesnia's turn. All right, I rush past him. And then what do I see? I see that guy. I blast him with chill touch. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. Roll the damage. Nice. Wait, hold on. Never mind. Never mind. It was not a critical. Four damage. Okay. You you hit him, but he is definitely not down. Alright, well, I've got my rapier out in case he moves. Anyways, I'm ready. With this, it is now Fen's turn. Um, what let's see. You can move past a willing, tar a willing ally. Okay, well, then I'm going to be moving past you. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get within... Five feet of this fool, and we're gonna attack him with the axe. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. 
Hiya! Havachi! Oh, no, he dodged or something. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he literally, like, leans to the side as the axe cleanly goes over him. Uh, let's see, do yeah, I have any you can do bonus action? Uh, can't use that, can't use that, uh... You only have a single two-handed two axe? Uh, I have, I have boomerangs as well, but this is not the environment to use boomerangs. <laughs> no. Uh... Nope, I do nothing from here. <laughs> next. Okay, so next it is his turn. Is anybody else... Uh, Basil, you see this fight going on. Are you going to do anything about it? Yeah, she... As the... I'll say, like, around the time as uh, Kesnia's attack, she's going to be, like, coming into the room. Like, what's going on? And then see what's happening, and like, oh, oh no! And uh, I didn't realize I still had a cross that I have a crossbow. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna take off outer crossbow to to help. So, okay. Uh, in my initiative. <laughs> and yeah, so there we go. Okay, so go ahead and, as you come in, that would actually be before the goblins, so go ahead and do your, if you're going to shoot with your crossbow, you can roll to hit. Nice! I am! Um, not to be a rule lawyer, but can you stand in my position like that, or do you have to move, like, out of my position, which would make you in melee range? I'm not sure. Straight ahead would be good. But you'd have to fire on anything there. Partner. Okay, cool, cool. You're a willing ally, aren't you? She's small. I am. I think it is a lot of distance. Plus, Basil takes up your, like, no space. Fair enough. Uh, does a 10 hit? That does not hit. Fuck. So you fire an arrow and you miss. It hits the wall near the goblin. Ah, not... I not... You can, as you can tell, I have not done that. But I'm trying to... At this point, the goblin picks up and attempts to fire his bow again. I mean, this, this time awesome. at the one who fired an arrow at him. Uh, this is this within the... Range. Yeah. Is this within... Does it have disadvantage on a bow because it's, like, within 20 feet? It, mm. it has disadvantage with a bow because you are standing right next to him and you are an enemy. If you were not there, he could fire the short distance between us. But oh. because you are there... He gets a disadvantage. Excellent. As rules. I don't know if that's how it's going. Sorry. We good now? Yeah, I'm not doing anything. Go. It misses. Woo! It's oh, now Kaznia's turn. Either one of us are good at firing yet or Zyra, you Mr. Goblin. Yeah. I'm gonna try to bitch slap him again. Shield touch it is. Go ahead and oh, roll the no. hit. I imagine that me and Nemo can just damage. hear the sounds of combat coming from You can hear things clang clittering uh clanging around. Clattering, that's the word I'm looking for. And uh, exactly. Kes Kesnia, a little fucked up right now, still. So, Kesnia sings his incantation, so you hear like light chanting and singing in Kesnia's voice. Okay, uh, yeah, that hit will kill him. Watch, damn, and with that combat ends. Uh, I search his body. Hold on, before you... I mean, if if you're doing that, but also out of anger and reflective action, I'm go, uh, he's gonna drive the, the, the axe down into the into the dead goblin's corpse. Okay. Because he's gonna jump back at that. <laughs> you cleave the, the goblin in two. 
about this time that I walk in. <laughs> what are we doing here? You walk in to see the bull bring down the axe on the poor dead goblin. Oh, have you poor found dinner? <laughs> I'm quite peckish. Dick, that's gross. I'm hungry. Not enough to eat a goblin. Anyway, it's like this. chicken. Uh, uh, he'll take the axe back out and then uh, uh, turn around and and hobble out of the room because now he's really in pain. Well, I searched that body for what it's worth. Well, for what's left. There's nothing you find mm. of any use. That's gross then. I cleaned my hands on its clothes. Can Basil take his arrows? Uh, yeah, you get like five arrows off of him. Just be aware that they are arrows and not crossbow bolts. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why don't you take his bow? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. He takes the bow, too. Unless it broke or something. <laughs> no, you can take it. It gets you a short bow. So what's down this way? Well, let's see here. That's not what I wanted. Sorry, ignore that. There you go. Oh, thank you. Ben is gonna ro walk back out of out of the hallway into the uh, main tunnel. Okay. <sighs> As you guys enter. Uh, Kesney indication, you see this stone pillar in the center here as long as two exits. Anything unique about the pillar? Writing? Bliss? Uh, you do notice that it's carved with a small symbol, a perfect circle with ten equidistant spokes radiating outward from its circumference. Oh, the hey, it's that one. There's a smaller circular indentation that bears a passing resemblance to a lidless eye. Interesting. The plot thickens. I take a quick sketch in my journal. Okay. That probably takes a couple minutes. What are you doing, Dick? I'm gonna fiddle with this door over here. <laughs> the, do I actually unlock it? Uh, the door should be open. Okie dokie. Oh. Well, um, going to tentatively poke my head in uh you see what appears to be several a couple people uh in the room and uh what appears to be a creature with purple skin uh with what appear to be tentacles coming from its face Whoa! Uh oh, on oh. The oh. i need um, you to roll two? stealth oh well then um, I'm, glad did I you, I'm just yeah, writing. You managed to keep yourself not seen. I'm just gonna back off here. I didn't see nothing. Do do do. <laughs> Don't go in there. I say to Kesnia. <laughs> uh, got it. As I'm writing down. In there. It's in there. Don't Where's go it? in there. Okay. Uh, where did Toll go? I. Do what? What? The the bull. He it's he's it, tall. He's bleeding out somewhere. I think maybe out in the tunnel. Uh, maybe he's going to go see greener pastures. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We might be having steak for supper. Would you call that free range? I mean, <laughs> uh, Finn, Siri actually darts through this air area. Okay. Uh, actually, Good comes running me. over here. Then that's where. Oh, hello, go. dog. Yeah, don't uh, get too close. Basil's. Oh no, Basil's dick, gonna... it's fine. Basil's gonna go eep! as the wolf rushes part pasture and like just like cling against the wall. 
You'll when whoever gets close to to Siri notices that it doesn't feel like when the dog run, or the wolf runs by you. It doesn't feel like a normal wolf. It feels just like almost like air. I'm quite used to this. But the uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the the wolf kind of like noses at this door. This door? Okay. Okay, Doug. What do you see? It looks up at Trashy and then steps aside, or up at Finn and then steps aside. Uh, can I listen first to the door to see if I hear any sounds inside? Uh, you do happen to hear what appears to be a small bit of struggling. Struggling? Okay. Uh, I'm going to open the door if it opens. It does open. Uh, yeah. Inside you see a woman. Oh. Um, dearest Phoebe. Oh, when my wolf is broken. Meg. Yes. Here dearest I am. Phoebe, as uh, you you see this woman tied up, kind mm -hmm. of like on her knees in the corner here, with her bag on the opposite side of the room. Um, can you describe this character for me, Phoebe? Um... Physical looks. The kind of thing. Uh, the character I'm voicing. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. She has a long, thickish tail. Uh, she's wearing obviously uh thigh high boots that are a turquoise color, along with a uh corset. I want to say, and the rest of her outfit is all black. She has leather gloves, long, pl dark plumish hair. Uh, medium, uh, sort of tall, sharp pointed horns on her head. And, um, she is, a uh, very, uh, obviously, uh, hourglass shaped, <laughs> I want to say. Gravacious. <laughs> yes. She Voluptuous. Is, she, yes, and very much so. Damn, she's thick. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Rails type. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> when she's currently tied up. Yeah, she she's tied up. She's on her knees, not gagged, but just bound at uh arms behind her back and ankles together. Uh and... almost looks like the knots were done shoddily, like she was captured as she was going somewhere. Mm, okay. Mm. Um while she's tied up, is City like reacting to her? Is is she what she was tracking? Uh, you see Siri growl, but okay. not necessarily at her. Siri comes over and actually looks at the uh, bag that's against the wall behind Acacian. Okay. The first mm. thing I'm going to do is go to the bag. I'm not going to move in this tiny room. Yeah, no, I'm that's gonna... fine. I'm going to go to the bag and look for my journal. Uh, okay, so as you as you pull her through this bag, you do see you do pull out after a couple minutes the uh, the journal. Oh, okay. Have we found the thief? I'm gonna take it. During that, it, I step in. I want to get back with my things, and then I'm just gonna look at her, and I'm gonna point. I'm gonna point Nahara at her, and uh, you know, inquire. Why did you take this? I pull out my gun and point it at her threateningly as well. I conjure a storm in my orb intimidatingly. I roll fun. my eyes. <laughs> She's tied up. She can't do anything. Terrible. Terrible. Do I, uh, do I speak? Yeah, you're, you're, you're in roleplay oh. mode with them. Oh. You're able to interact <laughs> with them freely. Uh, she looks at all of them kind of not really intimidated by them and just calmly shrugs and just goes hmm so hostile my goodness well if you must know I stole it because I felt like can I do an insight check I don't believe her yeah I don't believe her can I see if I... she's lying Do I have permission to roll, Fox? Yeah, roll insight. If I if I if I say yeah, this this roll insight. We we didn't hear the yes. That's all. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's not. Insight. 
Mm, uh, I'm there too. Let's see. <laughs> so all of you look and she seems to be telling the truth. You aren't able to pick out uh, anything that necessarily means she isn't. Uh, Basil's gonna go... She's sitting on the ground, yeah? Yeah. Okay, Basil's gonna go and like just sit in her lap and be like, Is that really why you stole it? <laughs> or is it something else? It's okay if you want to tell us. I mean, they're not going like, on the pool or anything. I don't think they are anyways. Do, do I respond? She's, she's yeah, you respond. Oh, yeah, she's, she's in your life. If you're interacting with the the thing, the character you're voicing, then you need no permission. Yeah, you need no permission. You are more than free to role play. Okay. Um, she looks at uh the rabbit, and kind of raises a brow. Like, normally I'm the one on people's laps, but okay, I guess I could get used to that. And I am telling <laughs> the truth. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Believe it if you want. I don't really give a damn. Uh, I'll see if Basil believes it. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Finn, uh, follow up. I believe it. Yeah, you can believe <laughs> it. <laughs> and her excuse was she stole it because she wanted to? Yeah. That's what she told you guys. She stole it because she felt like it. So Kesnia goes, you're not a harper, are you? What's that? <laughs> I guess. Uh, last I checked, I don't think so. Okay. See, I told you to Finn. Finn is we ignoring everybody. Finn is, ig Finn is ignoring everyone else in this room, but this this woman. Um, and I, after you. No, no, go for it, go for it. I sigh because no one's asking the obvious question. So I kind of wiggle my gun towards the f her side of her head and say, You lady there, were you following us? And if so, why? Uh, me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Mm, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. Why should I answer you? I cast Witch Bolt. <laughs> Oh, and shoot the little taser at her, right at her big voluptuous tits. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you know what? Go ahead oh and my roll. Roll the hit. God. It. Oh my god! Not the titties. That's what she got, bro. You're gonna ruin her business. <laughs> Ooh. Not the titties. <laughs> And she's dead. <laughs> so um, I give I give her tits a wee shock. Excuse follow, me, wee lady. That's not the answer I'm looking for. Try again, please. I, I'm, I'm not dead, am I? Uh, you are. You knock her unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. damn it! Uh, you you literally you watch as this like <laughs> copper wire with a little barb at the end hooks into your boob. And the shock just completely knocks you unconscious. <laughs> I kind of shake at the gun and look at it frustratingly. This damn magic won't work the way I want it to. <laughs> damn it! Basil's just going to look up at Dick and be like, Oi! But knocking her out is not going to help anything. Well, talking to her like... wasn't helping either. <laughs> she's just going to like go up to her, just like boop around the nose like, Excuse me! Lady, we're sorry. Can you please wake up? Boop, 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 boop. Yavari, or the, 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 the tiefling appears to be completely unconscious. Ah, uh, not. <laughs> you know, carrying wounds takes a lot out of me. And it might be the only way to wake her up. Anybody else have some medicine expertise? Nope. Me no. I'm really good at shooting people, though. Well, obviously. <laughs> I don't have a health kit or anything. No bandages. Um... Alcohol is my remedy. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, no, I'm just gonna. Y'all better not get hurt because 
I'm gonna be really tired after this. All right. All oh. right. Thank you for your sacrifice. Wait, you have I have a question. What That's is me her telling custom? you she's gonna be out of spell slots. Uh, it doesn't say it has to hear me. It what? just says it has to understand the language I'm speaking. If I... What are you looking at? Uh, at my at will. <laughs> Not much, but make it to back. The one thing I have on my at will. If I use... If I theoretically use that right now... So it doesn't say it has to hear. It's uh... just whatever I can see. But you are God, so I leave that up to you. I will say, it, if a creature is unconscious, it can't understand what you're saying. Okay. So the, the, you have to be awake for it. You can't just, okay, like, okay. just mind <laughs> manipulate Listen, people. I just wanted to make sure. Does that for, for healing do any good? The, the for healing does does bring... You see you see the, the tiefling woman begin to lightly stir... All right, I'm gonna use this uh, attempt to like uh, make my orb like super stormy and be like, "You better tell us what we want to know, or else we won't save you next time." I roll my eyes again. Fifteen. The, uh, the the tiefling's just gonna wake up to Basil just like pooping her nose, trying to wake her up. Sees like little green light coming from the end of her paw. That's like her magic healing her and shit. Yeah, I say what I say as soon as she seems conscious. And at that moment... Oh god, thanks, At that moment, the bull enters. (laughs) Finn's about to tell everyone to get out of this room. (laughs) What the hell's going on here? (laughs) Well... I found a possible new friend. I've got my hot... my, My... Wee barbs in her tits. Uh, um. <laughs> Our warning, this is an 18 plus stream. This is entirely you know, okay. No, as, is, is she waking up? Fuck, she's waking up. Yeah, slowly but surely. Did she okay. respond to my intimidating statement? No. As, as she's waking up, no, Finn is l- literally going to be like, Everybody leave the fucking room. Because you're not helping. I helped, I woke her back up. Finn's just gonna look at the bunny. She's gonna pout and cross her her arms. (laughs) Oh, honey, you're gonna have to pout harder than that. (laughs) 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 Well, I... Huffly walk away. Fine. Give my gun a little jerk, and the barbs unhook and retract back into my gun. He like, yeah, he like flicks the gun, pulls a little switch, and the barbs open up and recoil. Okay, Basil's my job gonna, here like, is done. <laughs> Basil's gonna like just hold, grab onto I've like a little bit torture. of tough fur. A little tough of fur on um, Fen and be like, come on, Toll, we're not so allowed to be in here right now. And, and like try to pull up, like gently pull him out of the room to get He's him to not follow. Watching. Toll, please, I don't want to fight. You just got hurt. Um. He's just going to stand there in the doorway. The door's open. Doesn't matter. And stare at the the at the, at the people inside this this room. Okay. And now that everybody, well, most everyone has left. Uh Finn's 
Stance will actually relax a little bit, and he'll lean against this wall here with with Nahara at his side, and then he's he's just gonna stare at her for for a moment, kind of like that, not awkward, but like starts to get awkward, just staring her down like while she's still tied up on the floor. Yeah, she is. Yeah, y'all never untied her. Yeah, no, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, good. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. And, uh, oh, hold on, I have a message. Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna look to City and, like, motion his head, and City's gonna move to be, like, right, not both of them, just, just the dog, right next to her. And he's gonna tell her, uh, Istuda and uh City will sit and then just stare like breathing on this on on the tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> so from your perspective Mitch, she's fucking huge. You're 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 in this corner tied up, right? And this twink <laughs> <laughs> Comes into the room you know what? With this accurate. Giant it's accurate. As fucking staff. Accurate. And this giant as fucking semi translucent wolf that's glowing at the mouth and eyes and seemingly orders this wolf to like get up basically right next to you and breathe over your body. <laughs> yep. Okay. And he's not gonna say anything until until she does. If this wasn't the start of a fan fiction, I don't know what is. <laughs> Listen. Fuck. I don't Finn's think getting answers. Can cover anything of what you're thinking about, man. <laughs> Alright. Don't worry about it. Look, I'm small enough. Twitch won't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> they really won't. Um Okay, so I have to respond. Yeah, Finn's not gonna do anything until she responds. Okay. Um, she looks at you and then looks at the wolf and then kind of just like frowns uncomfortably at the wolf and is like, the hell did I just wake up to? What the hell just happened? And why do my tits hurt? <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't that hurt like tits, that since I saw. <laughs> just I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> Is that, that, what is it, like the granny simulator? It hasn't hurt that much since Grandpa was alive. Uh, Finn will just look at her with like the deadest face and go, uh, your tits hurt because you were shot. Oh. Matter of factly. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. She kind of just like looks away now and is just like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> what an edgy character. <laughs> I thought I'll look over and go, you know, you don't seem the type to just go around stealing journals. Oh, you think so? And what makes you think you even know anything about me to begin with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Starts idly playing flute. <laughs> the real thing is, why is such a stupid little book so important to you? Unless maybe there's something valuable to it? Perhaps, or maybe you have some dirty pictures in it? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and then she just sticks her tongue at him just like eh. <laughs> kind of teasingly I did okay this by the way I 100% okay <laughs> this before she anyone just asks to, she just wanted to see Great. the smut that was in it it's okay yeah. <laughs> but it still has like a dead look on his face but he's like a hint of amusement in his eyes, but he's just, uh, he'll just go, trust me, there's no value in it for you. 
Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have to respond. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, ah. Um. Sorry, I'm kind of drawing a blank here. <laughs> no, take your time. This is what role play is for. You'll get take better your at time. it with time. Right. Uh, she kind of just shrugs and is just like, well, if it's not valuable, as you say, I guess it doesn't matter to me that much. So, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I couldn't get the damn thing open. It was harder to break into than a chastity belt. What the fuck? <laughs> what you usually don't break fuck? into chastity belts. They're usually taken off for you. <laughs> That, that's what you'd like to think, weather boy. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, we each play it out differently. What'd that tail do, though? <laughs> Horns is horny. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, wait. Uh, so... The wolf and him are in the room, and then uh... the minotaur is in the doorway. Yeah, you everybody can see else the is minotaur going. in the doorway. Okay. Um, she looks around the room a little bit to kind of just get a, a maybe look for a way to escape, possibly if she has a chance. Like kind of strategizing in her head until she like immediately sees the minotaur, and then and she just kind of looks stunned a moment before her her eye just like looks more and it's just like hello there who's that over there I'm uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> Finn, Finn's gonna uh, actually roll his eyes and go back through her through the bag that he found the journal in is there anything else in the bag uh, roll me investigation while you're investigating, um, Fen will uh, step into the room and say, this one who took your book? Fen will go, yep. Do you have your book? I have it back, but I have questions. Mm. Want to ask him for me? She seems more interested in you. Very. And he'll waggle his eyebrows. Oh my God. As, you, as you, at this point, <laughs> It is at this moment that as you are rifling through the bag, you stumble across several drawings. Drawings! <laughs> oh, no. Drawings! Of a very specific <laughs> minotaur. What? Like? Very, Why? very <laughs> promiscuous <laughs> positions. Wait, well, hold on, what? <laughs> Is it? Are they drawings of Fen or a different minotaur? They are, they are drawings of Fen. Look, I'm yes, a little bit saying it's oh, Finn's gonna look at the Finn will look at the drawings, look at Fen, look at the drawings, look at Fen, look at the drawings some more, look 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 to the tiefling and go. She's just gritting. Oh <laughs> I get it. Hey, uh, horns, you want to see what I found in this bag? Uh, Nima wants to get a load of this. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and Finn will, Finn will walk over with the drawings and just hand them hand them to the Minotaur and then step back uh, to stand with next to, next to City. <laughs> um... To give you I... further clarification. Go ahead and ask your question. <laughs> I I don't know what question to ask. I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> this was not expected at all. <laughs> I yes, said it we was. were I said we were gonna cover some different topics. We're just starting. Yes, it was. <laughs> uh to give you some clarification though, as you rifle through these pictures. Um, they're not necessarily, like, full-on naked images. It's, like, sketches of you, uh, getting undressed. Maybe some from after you were in done fighting, pit fighting. 
Um, mm-hmm. Pictures of you, you know, eating or doing other things. There are some definitely more naughty ones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> such as the, <laughs> such as the ones of Fen like taking a shower. <laughs> um <laughs> Where the pages seem to be a little bit more dirty than usual. Um. At this point in time, Nimu has been let... Uh, Basil had been like, hey, Nimu, let's go check some stuff out, see what the others are doing. Nimu comes around and he looks at the journal and he's like, I think you caught a crazy. Those <laughs> people like them. I don't know. I don't know, sir. <laughs> um, I would think twice. I'm just gonna type this back. in so it doesn't interrupt because it's only for Fox and uh, and Meg. So uh, uh, here, hold on. Okay. If you're gonna say something like that, let us do this. <laughs> no, the it's right not. Way. It's it's not. It's not anything important. It's okay. <laughs> oh, there they go. Uh, hello, <laughs> friends. Hi. Huh? Oh yeah. Welcome, welcome to Phoebe the to the demi plane. <laughs> it's only us in here. It's only us. Uh, while okay. there, while Nimu enters the room, Finn's actually gonna go over to uh, to the Tiefling's other side, like over over on her other side where City isn't, uh-huh. and he's just gonna lean against the wall near her ear and go. If you keep undressing him with your eyes now, you won't have anything to do with your hands later. Oh. Uh, I, I respond? Yeah. If you're talked to, you you don't have to request permission. You can 100% oh. just respond. Um. Okay. Um, I don't know how to respond. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Um. Uh. You've piqued my interest. Are you possibly thinking we make a deal with each other, you and I? Might be able to coax horns into some cooperative entanglements. If you tell me the true reason. I can hear is I get fucking cackling in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> um she kind of just sighs and is just like, well, let's cut the crap. I simply want one thing and one thing only. Horns. Mm, yes. That's my main goal. But I'd like to join your little, um, what do you call them? Your pals, your uh, friends with benefits, maybe? Finn's going to look from, from her to like the people in the room and go, Oh mm-hmm. no, honey, I'm not involved with them like that. <laughs> Too bad. But if you'd like to join our little group for this extended... He's looking for a word. He has no word for it. (laughs) What, like alliance? (laughs) He's like... He doesn't know what to call this gaggle of people. (laughs) We're already off to a better start than we were in Icewind Dale. I'm gonna be real with (laughs) y'all. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Ice when Dale started was like in begging people for wood. <laughs> and now, now Meg is begging people for wood. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, there's a reason just... them pages were a bit dirtier. That's all I'm gonna Ooh, say. Finn's <laughs> like, seeing as how you're the one that stole from me, I could convince them that we've come up with the truth. Mm. That depends. Who is what you say is your leader of this little powwow you have? Ah. Your gives it, of the group. 
<laughs> I love this. Oh, man. Way, Meg, so keep this That's up. interesting. <laughs> um, I'm trying my best. I'm shaking. I'm not going to lie. It's it's so fun. You'll get used to it. <laughs> Finn's, Finn's going to smirk and go, What's your definition of dominant? Someone who takes charge leads the way most of the time. Hmm. <laughs> this is where a power bottom comes in. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna go. I guess we have different definitions. Uh. <laughs> If you want to say who takes charge, that would definitely be horns, but... Uh, 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 sorry, I was distracted a moment. Um, did you fin uh, Did you respond? You responded, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you said horns? Yeah, aka Fen. Oh, oh alright. Mm. I thought so. He definitely seems like the type. Finn's gonna just snicker under his breath. <laughs> I love how this is too what is effectively highly sexual characters flirting with each other. And I have to interject here for your mandatory this is not sexual content warning. Okay, y'all can continue. So, so perhaps... Um. Um, do I, should I say something? If you want. Uh, yeah. Um. We'll be like Josie and the Pussycats. We'll <laughs> Sorry, I'm, he, he's, he's over. <laughs> he's having a fucking that. blast over there. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> um, she kind of just, like, kind of leans back as best as she can, being tied up and whatnot, and is, um, before looking down at her bandages and then it's like can we just fast forward and just get to the part where you untie me and we continue our merry ways or can I join you or not Finn is contemplating because watching watching this creature try to flirt with Fen sounds so like so much fun to him <laughs> yeah, you did pick like the best person to negotiate with regarding this like Finn would be <laughs> yeah. all because over this that sounds hilarious because he loves watching another she seems like another power bottom so they're gonna get along fine as long as she stops stealing from him um which is verbatim what he'll say kind of he'll be like listen I'll convince them to let you tag along for your own purposes as long as you swear to stop stealing from me. I don't care if you steal from them. Just not from me. It's at this point that the bull kind of He's gonna, yeah. (laughs) He's gonna hear (laughs) Fen clear his throat again and like a true power bottom he's just gonna hold up a finger so go, I'll go, I'll go tell them that. Hold on, you. Yeah, he's gonna hold talking. up his hold up a finger and go. Wait, your turn. Uh, yeah. Zyken, dear dear Fen. Mm-hmm. It is at this point that as you go ahem, that Finn, uh, immediately puts a finger up to your lips, and goes. Wait, your turn. <laughs> I just I had, to, I had to relay that to you. That was that was their request. <laughs> Size. Oh, welcome back. I I told him. What is he? Oh, he <laughs> says grr. The is he growling tackled. at me? Yeah, he was. A <laughs> Finn wink. Finn winks and then turns back to her. Uh, the 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 Finn would like to let you know that in response to your growls, he winked at you. <laughs> Uh, 
I Is there you. anything else you'd like to I do? You should roll the blush. To, like, dig yourself deeper. Why don't you take him over there? I could, you know what? Yeah. I guess I could contain myself from stealing. I've brought Thanks. I've brought Fen over as he's been <laughs> listening. Yes. Okay. As soon as she says that, Finn will smirk, and then uh, he'll give like a little a little flip to his hands, and you'll see City like instantly uh go to like bite the rope that's tying her, and like bite right through it. Okay. You do manage and to she's bite right through the the ropes. Without you. harming her. And then he'll look to Fen and go, Have fun. We have a new party member. I and then, half and then, you were going to say playmate. And I wanted to. I really did. But I don't know if Fen would under. You know what? No, I do say that. I say we have a new <laughs> playmate. And then Fen's just gonna, Fen's just going to leave the room. <laughs> just leaves the room. <laughs> And City, City will take uh, one like look at the tiefling and then follow. Um, <laughs> you, you give know. me my wolf. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now it was you two left alone in the room. Oh. <laughs> Fen, Fenziris is gonna ignore all that. Um. Because that crazy elf does a lot of things that he just doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna say, um... What is he gonna say? <laughs> mm, looks like I left you speechless. I don't know what you said to that elf, but I don't trust you. Who are you working for? Hmm. I don't work for anyone. Then why do you have those drawings? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Who sent you to collect my money? <laughs> uh, nobody, darling. Nobody. Mm, do I believe her? <laughs> Roll insight. Let's see. I love this drama I've created between you two. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> adore this shit. Uh, yeah, she, she doesn't seem to be telling the truth. Or, or, sorry, doesn't seem to be lying. <laughs> sorry, I I'm say, out what? of it. Hold on. You're, <laughs> You're <good>. fine. <laughs> I was lost in the bite of tortellini. I apologize. <laughs> Not lost in the sauce. <laughs> I, I really am. I've got this this teriyaki sauce over some tortellini, and it's fucking good. It sounds so good. Sounds oh. yummy. Meg, take look, look, look at me. Oh, it's very cute. He's on my lap. <laughs> um. Anyways, <laughs> back to this. Uh, back to the drama. Um. So, it's she doesn't seem to be lying. Yeah, she doesn't no. seem to be lying. Mm -hmm. You you definitely aren't like holistically trusting her, but you don't see a reason to doubt her words at this moment. You're not working for a loan shark. Mm, no. Nor anyone in the pit fighters. She shakes her head. No. Mm. I'm solo, unfortunately. Mm. Why are you captured down here? Hmm, I would normally say I had a little too much fun earlier with a certain partner, but unfortunately I don't remember. Hmm. <laughs> Damn friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> dodge. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what do I do with this? Um, well, let's see. Fine. If you're not here to collect on my debt, 
then. Huh. And then he just turns turns away and, and walks out the door. <laughs> uh she follows. Yeah, you can you can you can move. Oh, oh, uh right. Quick and drag. Um you're getting the hang of this. There you go. See? There you You're go. Doing... Slowly but surely. <laughs> All right. Now uh, that the obvious rampant sex is finished happening, oh, <laughs> um, the the word flirting, I shall I shall bring you both back. Okay. You got this, Phoebe. You're doing good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right as a uh, <laughs> as we all come back uh both fen and uh this tiefling woman uh exit the room returning to the rest of the group huh. finn's finn's just gonna look to the tiefling and wink. Uh <laughs> She notices and winks back. <laughs> oh, uh, I would say don't go through that door. Uh, we saw some bad things through that door. Like what? Um, um, don't don't you worry about it. Just just don't go through that door. We should find another door. Ooh, this one looks pretty pretty fun. Let's go through this one. Maybe we'll find another tied up whore. I mean, woman. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's pretty funny um she kind of frowns at him and goes careful so what is this door all about is it unlocked uh you can you can actually click on it if it's unlocked it will open if it's locked you'll hear like a lock noise oh okay cool so, so like you can you can test doors you don't need to ask me like okay. if, if if you guys just to show you guys if I do this and you guys click on the door, you'll hear what it sounds like when it's locked. Okay, great. Ah. great. Okay. All right. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything in here unless there is. Uh, as unless you guys enter here, there are straw pallets on the floor and rusty manacles are bolted to the walls. Oh, this must have been where she was staying before. <laughs> <laughs> Finn has no comment on that one. Uh, she, the teethling, just kind of ignores it, but just kind of grins. Is it? Uh, I I hope somebody doesn't listen to him and goes through those doors. But Wait. is he only going to? Hmm? Just thinking out loud, are you? Yeah. Can you send me the drawing of the teethling lady? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, Can I get Basil's the teethling like... lady's name? <laughs> You can ask. Uh, well, if you're going to be traveling with us, as as Nia says, what's your name? Oh, me? Yeah, you. Oh, sorry. She looks at the group and then just lightly smiles. Yavari. Yavari Cornea. I, okay, I say my name is Kesney. And we go around and introduce ourselves. I've already forgotten it. <laughs> like his attitude, his name is Dick. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs a little bit at that. My name's Basil. I want to be friends. Uh, Yavari looks at Basil up and down, and then. Shrug. Basil's gonna look at her, look at her with like the biggest eyes, <laughs> like just that like, gif of a Judy Hops from Zootopia. Uh, this kind of uh unsettled makes her feel unsettled a moment, and then looks aside and just frowns slightly. I don't do friends, but acquaintances is acceptable. Oh, oh, I had to bite my tongue there. <laughs> well, do you know what we're looking for down here? We're looking for some dude that was captured. Have you seen 
uh, a guy that looks kind of like this other guy. He's around here somewhere, I assume. Uh, yeah, he's following behind you guys. He's over by the stairs right now. This like relatively noble, noble esque dressed person. I ask him to describe his friend Flynn since he's the only one that's actually seen the guy. He kind of shrugs, um, but goes kind of like me, um, similar garb. Probably more beat up at this point. Uh, so the what well, I'm sorry, what was the question exactly? Do, do we know have you seen a, a prisoner that looks like this fellow here anywhere down here? Uh she looks at the fellow you're talking about and then she just kind of crosses her arms and shrugs. Can't say I do. I'm not very good with remembering faces and names. I remember in different ways. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. The imprint. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, I can't help that. <laughs> well, I draw Dick's attention to the center column here. Take a look at this symbol. Do, do you think it has any magical effects? Hmm. I'll take a look. Uh, you look, Dusty? you see the... Uh... Where the fuck? Uh, yeah, you see the same circle and you notice the indentation seemingly like could have something placed in it, but you don't know what. Hmm. Ooh, is the indentation like the one on my journal? That same uh, kind of like something to be placed there. Sort of. Okay. But it's definitely not the same shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you said Oh no, that's metagaming. Never mind. I don't know about that. I asked the uh the new newcomer, I forget her name already, sorry. Uh it's okay, Yavari. Yavari. Uh does Yavari recognize the symbol? Maybe you've seen it around? Uh Yavari looks over. And then she just shrugs. Mm, can't say it's a whole I've seen before. And she knows and her whole. Sorry, buds. This is dead. <laughs> this is the whole character, isn't it? It really is the whole character that I approved. It is straight up just, uh, just Christ. like chuckling. <laughs> He likes her. Oh, <laughs> and she's only got oh, one right. eyes for one person, Fen. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's okay. So does he. <laughs> and they're not polyamorous, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to try something. I'm going to go out on them here. Uh, I can create a small trinket with prestidigitation. Is the trinket like, big enough to fit it? Can I try to like, make the inverse so I can fit something into it? No. No. Yeah. God damn it. I I was about to say something. I mean, you can create something to go in it, but nothing happens. Okay, okay. Do I recall uh, recall seeing anything like that uh, any in any of the rooms we've been in so far? Uh, it's a similar symbol to what was on the walls, but as far as what goes in the indentation, no. Hmm. Um, Finn is gonna ask Yuvari about the people who caught her after she stole from him. Uh, like how 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 she ended up here. Um, Yuvari looks <laughs> at him and then kind of looks down as if to like try and retrace her steps and think before she sighs and shrugs. Again, as I told big guy here, I can't remember, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, that's strange. I'm not playing that character. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well... What should we do? Should we go back 
into the tunnel and see if the other direction takes what? us somewhere or um, sim so looking around the room what is the symbol they're looking on on the column because i have no idea it is a small symbol a perfect circle with 10 equidistant spokes radiating outward from its circumference okay um in the middle of this circle is a smaller circular indentation that bears a passing resemblance to a lidless eye does this lidless eye look like the one that Ben has described before? The one that's like on the guy's head or on the their the clothing? Head. Yeah, the clothes on the clothes. The clothes of the bodies that were in the this fight in the street or the alleyway, that fight, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh... It's gotta be right you kind of you, you don't recognize the lidless eye but you do recognize the sphere with the the equidistant spokes as one of them okay okay interesting okay um this is the door that dick said not to go into yes that that's the one why am I not entering the store, Dick? There are things in there we we shouldn't trifle with. Let's just say that. Unless someone else goes first, I'd gladly see what's inside. I'm very curious, but I am. I, I mean, if anyone is to go first, I say our fine nobleman here go and say hello to those gentlemen. What? He's he's clearly the least. Oh. Clearly, the the most capable of negotiation. Okay, instead we'll check this door. Oh, I'm going to head over in this direction as I see that door opening. <laughs> you, said, you said this door! Uh, oh. this door! And Zerus is going to grab Dick right before he gets his slips past. Oh. Uh, 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 yeah, I opened this door. What am I seeing? Uh, you see threadba uh, threadbare curtains hang on the east wall of a long hall, in the middle of which a mm -hmm. muscular half-orc in dingy robe stands with his foot on the chest of a male human with wavy red blonde hair. Fire hey, look, it's like around for. the orc's clenched fist and his, and his victims cries and squirms helplessly beneath him. As you look around, you see seated on a raised platform to the south is a nightmarish figure wearing black robes. It has large white eyes and rubbery purple skin with four tentacles encircling its inhuman mouth. It cradles and gently caresses what looks like a disembodied brain with feet. Ew. This is like one of my Japanese animes. I need you to make a <laughs> stealth check. Okay. Is it Siri that's opening the door? No, Finn open. She's just right there. Uh, I got a crit. Okay, yeah, you managed to keep them from seeing you. Maggie, I swear to God. <laughs> if I see the redheaded guy, I, would like... I, I, I call out because I see the red <laughs> I would like to direct everyone's attention momentarily I see to it. the bar. I have it open. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Just the panic cow. <laughs> panic cow. Um, oh my god! You said the person who's he's got a foot on a man's chest. Does the person's description match that of Floon? Uh, from what you remember, yes. Okay. Finn's just gonna be like, just like nonchalantly, like carefully points. Oh shit, BRB. Well, now we sit here in limbo. Oh, Everybody scared. enjoy the cha-cha slide. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, now I hope you guys uh, like uh, the, the doodle. I absolutely oh, yeah. love it. Maggie, I you just... have so much to draw because there is so much planned for their story is... arcs. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh god. We thought we had one character that was into tieflings. Now we're gonna have two. <laughs> No, no, we're not. <laughs> I no. yes, nope. yes. Mm -mm. Okay, sorry, I'm back. What? <laughs> not even for your fiance? Nope. Okay, okay. Heartless oh, man. shenanigans are happening. Okay. So anyway, 
Um, uh, you do you point keep in? the door open or do you shut the door? No, we saved this guy. If it's the guy who you think it is. I mean, yeah, Finn Finn would have just been like like nonchalantly pointing, being like, I'm pretty sure. I've and also that, been playing that, that dude in time. there. That dude in there is uh the one we're looking for. But he'll uh he'll just like qu- like quietly reclose the door. What do we do? We need to rush in and save him before he's sacrificed. Let's go. It's like, why are we scared again? Do we even uh, know what that creature is? It's at this point you actually oh. all see Yavari kind of like stagger for a moment and clutch at her head. No! No, I liked her. For just a moment. That seems to return to normal. Mm, okay. What's wrong, Yavari? Uh, uh, Yavari is kind of speechless and just looks away. For you, it's like an intense pain. Meg, that's behind Yavari's eyes. Like somebody took a knife and was trying to scrape behind your oh. eyeballs. Oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah, she is like really in pain and trying her best to hold in her screams of pain. Just like it only uh. lasts like a second, second and a half, but it is excruciating. Yeah. Oh, that did not feel good. That hit me harder than a. King. Ugh. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Ah, these um, sentences. I never expected to come out of Big's mouth. <laughs> Throwing me through a loop. <laughs> Basil's just gonna like reach up and pat her knee and just be like, "It's all right. It's okay." No. Just like comforting her on her pain. Uh, Yavari looks down at Basil and just can only look at her a moment before just like taking a moment to kind of collect her thoughts again. Well, Tesnia is going towards that door because we need to save this guy. So, come on. Hmm? Hello. To give you some further clarification, I pulled you aside. Oh, thank Um, you. For the the pain, so you don't know this, like, Yavari doesn't know this. Mm -hmm. Um, But I'll tell you so you're aware. Okay. Um, The the creature in there is a mind flayer. It is a creature that uh, has turned other races into mind flayers. You know, there's no, you don't get born as a mind flayer. You're turned. Oh, by okay. a form of a tadpole that burrows behind your eye and begins to to eat at your your thoughts. Uh, okay. Eventually, it pushes you through a process known as seromorphosis, and you turn okay. into a a, a f- mind flare. What Yavari doesn't know is that the reason you woke up here tied up is because the mind flare put that tadpole behind your eye. So that's what that pain is that genuinely has large amounts of pain occasionally. Um, Mm -hmm. And it occasionally allows you to do things. Um, I will describe them to you when they happen. But uh, basically the, the tadpole has psychic powers and you can kind of do limited things with it. Um, Sometimes you can tell what somebody's thinking. Sometimes you can make somebody do something that you want. Um Okay. That kind of thing. You'll you'll have to either learn, but soon Yavari will figure it out, I think. Uh, um But okay. uh it's something to think about. Not only are you in this, but you've now got this tadpole behind your eye. That she's not aware of. She's not aware of yet. Okay. But that's what's causing the pain, just so you as a player are aware. Okay, so th- what's causing the pain again? I'm sorry. The tadpole that's behind your eye. It's a little clear, like, inch-long tadpole that's got layers of teeth at the front of it. 
and it literally will slide in between where like on your face like where your eye and your nose is in okay. around your eye and climb down your opt- optic nerve up to where your brain is and begin feeding mm, okay uh i am not very well knowledge of these things i'm sorry nah the others will be able to tell you more about it once once you realize it and once they realize it because i think I think Maggie realized it once I said there was a pain behind your eye. Uh-huh. Now that they know there's a mind flare in there. And it's okay if you don't know. Um, You can 100%, maybe once Yavari knows, you can play it as not knowing. Go, what the hell does this mean? Okay. Because it yeah. would make sense that Yavari wouldn't have much interaction with those creatures. Mm-hmm. So it would make sense that she wouldn't know anything about it. You're You're there for sex and robbing people. Yeah. So, just so you're okay. aware as a player, that's what's going on. Okay, so just, you know, act out and not know what it is, but just the pain? Yeah. The pain, occasionally okay. I'll describe things where I'll be like, you can see maybe Basil will be looking at you and all of a sudden I'll be like, you feel the emotions coming from Basil. The the worry, the concern. That's the tadpole. Oh, do I? So, like... Okay, so when I feel it, and then uh, one of them interacts with me, do I am I supposed to like be confused and mention that? Uh, you can. It's up to you how you want to play it. So, like for example, uh, God, like what you just said, that scenario. Can oh she? God. Does yeah. should she then be like, I feel strange yeah, or whatever? I- Yeah, you can play it however you want. I'll tell you what you feel, and however you decide to process that is completely up to you and Yavari. Yeah, I I, I don't know, like, yeah. So if Um, you want to play it as confused, like, I don't understand why I'm feeling this. Especially for a character who's like, get it and get out kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So not understanding those emotions could be a big thing. Okay, um, so basically, listen to your description and then play along with it? As much as you'd like, or as little as you'd like. You could get angry at yourself for, for feeling these things. Be like, God, why is this fucking pain here? Okay. Um, Or you could be like, hey, I really don't know why I'm feeling this. Okay. I think I, think I got it. Okay. I trust Thank in you. You, so you got much. this. Okay. You're doing good. Good work, Meg. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So everybody is gathered by the door. We're getting yeah. ready to charge. We're going to do a breaching maneuver. <laughs> oh, Lord. So how's oh, this going to go? Somebody explain to me what's happening. Well, oh. we're just going to barge through these doors, and we're going to try our best to stop what's happening on the inside. Okay. He's against it and wants to run. The they somehow think because he's busy eating a brain that he's not gonna notice. Yeah, Finn has stepped back. Finn is like, if you guys are going through that door, I'm going last. I ain't going through that door. He's oh, like, what the fuck do I, I care? Try, I'm, I tried to tell them. They won't want to listen. They want to go play with the tentacly brain eating man. So I say, let them. Mm-hmm. Boys, I don't have much magic left. We and saw he... the guy we were looking for. The whole quest objective. And the he's whole fucked. Thing. He's fucked. Yeah, we have different personal objectives. Mine yeah. include not dying. Getting paid. Yeah, getting paid means saving this guy. I have... Why don't we ask the, his friend what we should do? Hello, friend. You. <laughs> Renair, the seas no, tentacle monster, then. just runs. Ray, Ray. Uh, yes. Grab your hands, Ray, Ray. Owl. <laughs> Owl. <laughs> Thank you. Your friend's Thank getting you. fucked up. Opinion would be nice. Uh, I would prefer to save him. Okay, I... so we have a vote to save him. I, I second can't that. necessarily fight too well, but if you can 
get him away from who's ever hitting him, I can protect him. Okay, everyone else's opinion. <laughs> this is all happening while the guy's being stomped in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't, have, I can't get care of wounds anymore today. I got to rest to recuperate, but I can use my bow. I should probably stay back a little bit too. I will definitely ensure that I do not die today. <laughs> Finn's going to give Dick a knowing look. <laughs> All right, well, here goes nothing. I open Hold the on. door. Oh, well, okay. I need to get my... my... We're getting boomerangs out. I've got my rapier out. I open the door. What do I see? There's still in the middle of the ritual thingy? Yeah, so there's... The dude here, which is the half orc, this is the the wavy red blonde dude. Um, and up here is the tentacled creature. He's pretty far away. Just grab the guy and run. I walk up to this point and I try to shove the guy off of uh the red headed guy. So I'm gonna try to shove this guy one square to the right. Okay, make a, a strength check. Yeah, I know I'm not very good at this, so this is kind of pathetic, but here goes nothing. Jesus. Nice. Uh, no. Oh, Even with an 18? He, he, he got a 19. Half work. <laughs> oh. Damn. So Damn. He, did, he did beat that. So you walk up and you, you like go to shove him, but it's like you just tried to play, like, patty cake on his tits. What and you just fuck? hear, like, a smack. And you just see his head turn. Uh, right. At that moment, I step in and I throw a boomerang at his head. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. As this happens, you can go ahead and roll to hit with that. Um, Come on, hit. This Come creature... On, hit. The <laughs> which does hit just Woo, barely. Wow. Woo! Um, go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, Whack! So you do hit him in like the back of the head with the with the damage with the boomerang. It's does at it this point that you see this creature, uh, lower. Look out! See you guys. Lower this brain, which begins to move. To and I throw a boomerang at that. This turns and the leaves boomerang. through a portal after touching this wall. A like black, opaque, obsidian-like doorway opens, which he <gasps> leaves through what? and then disappears. The the tentacle creature did. Yes. Yep. Okay. Oh, epic! A black but the portal brain is still there. The brain is still there. I throw the boomerang at the brain, too. With the second hand. Why well, is okay. the brain is on its own? Do I roll to attack? Yes. Are you okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, uh, that definitely hits. <laughs> I come with my own sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've hit both at this point. Everyone in here is in combat. Woo, let's go. At least, except for those who are still in the other room. So those who are listed in the combat encounter, please roll initiative. Boo. <laughs> I'm a wee bit slow. So at this point, uh, what are the rest of you doing before combat begins? <laughs> I mean, I guess Basil's in the door, so she can at least try to shoot bow, her bow. So, oh. all right, fine. Mimu will help. Damn, Ooh. Basil with the initiative. Damn. That's the second time he's gotten reverse on the initiative too. Active bunny keeps going and going and going. I guess 
city would be. Um, in the doorway first. <laughs> Fox, I have a quick question. Yeah. Boomerangs on miss return, but do boomerangs on hit return? <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> then I have my boomerangs back. Whoosh. Uh, Finn, Indication, and Yavari, are you guys joining combat? Uh, Yavari is still kind of stunned from the pain she felt earlier and is kind of hesitant, but okay. she moves a step right here. Okay, Finn, Dication. Uh, I can join combat later, right? Uh, yeah, you, you can. can. Okay. I am definitely watching with a vested interest. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Siri's inside the doorway, but... All right, with combat, I am not. first move goes to Basil. Uh, Basil's going to point her new bow. Be wary. Um, we have people in front of whatever you're aiming at. Okay, Basil's going to... Nemo's move tiny, in. it's fine. She just Basil's slides under move. under his legs, just whoosh. She's a, she, you know, she's so small, she's just going to, like, stand, like, just, like, below him. Cause that'd be fucking funny. <laughs> and uh, like steps on you. <laughs> or she gets hit in the head. Okay. Go ahead and roll to and, hit. Uh, Who are you trying to hit? Uh the brain. The brain? Okay, go ahead and roll Jeez. to hit. The poor brain. <laughs> Almost gets eaten. Uh you Ooh. definitely oh, miss. Oh. Um oh. you nearly hit uh horns in the process but managed to to miss him as well like ricochets off a back wall yeah it, that's exactly what happens it ricochets off and lands like literally next to horns Sorry. and she'll back back up is there anything else you'd oh, like to do with your turn buns She's just gonna back up and feel very, de very, very dejected because this is the second time she's tried to shoot stuff and she can't aim more shit. <laughs> All right, next on the turn list is the brain. The brain. The brain. The brain. The brain. Retreat. <laughs> Which is going to move up. It's going to eat him. And then over. And is in fact going to attempt to hit Nimu. I'm just here to vibe, brother. Uh, it's it's <laughs> going to attempt brain. to uh, devour uh, your intellect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the brain oh, trying to commit suicide? Good luck there. Yeah, I'm like, what the intellect? <laughs> Nimu's brain is fried, dude. So you I say need that, you to make an intelligent saving throw. I honestly think you have the highest intelligence, though. <laughs> uh, you fail. <laughs> <laughs> eh. <laughs> He ain't gonna take much. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> uh, you take 15 psychic damage. Because oh, oh. can the brain down. pick a little damage as well? <laughs> he was <laughs> down. <laughs> so. Definitely be some rebound damage. What are you rolling there, Lunar Face? Well, Nemu, you know, this might be it, buddy. <laughs> the Nemu is is unconscious. Oh my god. Again. At zero hit points? Dude, he only has eight health. Yeah. I know, we yeah. we're all have low health. With that, it is now Grumshar's turn. This dude. Okay. I Which is, in fact, simply going to make a melee weapon attack against Kesnia. Uh, does a 21 hit? Yes. Uh. 
Uh, he hits you. You see him come across and hit your shoulder for four damage. Ouch. With that, it is the end of his turn. Nimu is unconscious. It is now <laughs> Siri's turn if Siri would like to do anything. Yeah. Do I need um... to make it? Wait, do I need, yes, need, I need to make you a death to make save? Your, your death save. Ooh. That's okay. Your first um, death save down. Uh oh. So, City is going to uh leap over the fallen the fallen owl and attack the brain. I would okay. like to to to, you know, for her to like fucking snatch it. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay. Do you want to launch the things from her character sheet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't... Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Attack. Okay, so go ahead and roll to hit. A 12? Uh, a 12 does hit. Okay. And the I creature, can You damage. can roll the damage and the creature needs to roll and then, the, the saving yeah, throw. Yeah, the saving throw. Which it nat ones on. Cool. Okay, nice. and it takes ten piercing damage, and I get to so you... throw. Oh, it gets knocked prone. Yes, it is prone. Cool. Prone. prone. <laughs> well, I guess I can move. And her. you watch as Siri literally rips a chunk, like a solid, like quarter of the brain, out of this creature. Um. Does she get anything else? No, I don't think so. And nothing on her character sheet lets her do anything else. Um, and then she's going to. Can I attempt to like in intimidate the the prone brain? What I mean, would you be intimidating brain. it for? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to get it to like you know not move again. <laughs> she's like standing over it, growling down at it. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead Just for and have funsies? Siri for some flavor? Intimidation. intimidation. <laughs> this is going to go awfully, but I think it's funny. It's just for flavor. <laughs> yeah, no. It, it, like, your, your wolf like growl purrs. <laughs> She's actually enjoying this. Sorry. <laughs> and then. Seeing Nimu unconscious, can I have Finn enter if that's possible, or do I have to wait till the turn order is over? You can bring it in um, okay. and roll initiative. Okay. Just be aware you won't start even if you roll uh, at the end till next turn. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh... Oh, he's not on here. Do I have to... Here. There you go. Thank you. That's All right, okay. I wasn't going to start for over. anyway. It is now Kesnia's turn. Alrighty. I, uh, I shout a curse uh, at this guy. At who? Uh, at the, uh, at the half-orc. Okay. So I'm, I'm using my Hexblade curse against him as a bonus action. Okay. And then I'm going to use Fanged Bite as an attack. Can you drop him. your curse in shot? Oh, yeah. If you're gonna do something, I would ask that you drop it in chat so click yeah. the thing, even if it doesn't have anything to go with it, so people can see it. Gotcha, gotcha. That and that. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit with the bite. Which does hit. So go ahead and roll the damage, which gets that plus two. So it's seven. Okay, so you deal seven damage to this creature, which does kill it. And I heal seven life. Yes. Sweet. So you all watch as a uh, Kesnia reaches over, like almost angry that this knife has gone through his shoulder and literally like bites down on this half orc's jugular and rips it open. 
Damn. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. feeding on the uh, the 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 blood and the the viscera as the half orc kind of crumples to the ground, gurgling. <laughs> and my wound in my shoulder heals up, and there's no wound there. Yes. He's a vampire. He's a vampire. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I was not expecting that out of him. I reach down and see if this guy's okay. I'm totally ignoring everybody else. Uh, he has one hit point left, so he is barely breathing, and you and Renair both run over to him, completely ignoring the intellect of our... <laughs> With this, though, it is now Fen's turn if you don't want to do anything else, Kesnia. I guess I'll just move over here. That's it. All right. Uh, and that is your turn. With, uh... Guys! <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. Uh, the, 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 the spectral dog has the brain on the floor, yes? Yeah, it's between yeah. the, the, the wolf's paws. Um... She yeah, does have reactions, uh, so. Okay. Um, then he's just gonna walk up within that five foot distance, hardly even that, and goes to do an unarmed strike to step on the brain. Okay. Go Stop ahead it out. And roll to hit. Do I get advantage because it's it, on you the do ground? Get advantage. It's prone. Yeah. How can this go wrong? I mean, considering <laughs> one of them is <laughs> that one. <laughs> it could have gone hor- You could have tried to kick the wolf and she would have bit your leg off. <laughs> yeah, I probably would have died from that. Anyways, can I roll damage? <laughs> that, does, that does roll damage. Go ahead. And he goes, yeah! Aw. That deals <laughs> four <laughs> damage. Start calling you Stompy. <laughs> With that, the intellect devourer is bleeding heavily, but is still moving. Kind of, albeit um, prone on the ground, is moving. Can I? Uh, bonus action for that. Is it trying to get away from me, from Siri? Uh, it's trying to right itself because Siri flipped it upside down. Um, considering that. Uh, is a melee attack. Uh, push it ten feet. Oh, we could we could shove it into the wall. Can I do that? Trash, do you uh, mind if your dog gets a little might get a little bit of friendly fire considering how close it is? I if you could touch her, she's corporal unless she doesn't want to be. Okay, well, uh, because I'm gonna use my bonus action to use hammering horns. Okay. Okay. On this otherwise beat up little brain and <laughs> hurl it ten feet, which would hurl it into the wall, if I'm not mistaken. We know more. As long as it okay. succeeds in its saving throw. <laughs> or doesn't okay, succeed. So it needs a strength saving throw. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet it's got lots of that. I think prone automatically fails. Then. But it actually does not automatically fail. But it definitely does fail. Woo! So you can you launch it, you said how far? Uh ten it's feet? it's a ten ten feet away, which even at this diagonal would hit the wall. Okay, right, right so about you here. launch it. At the wall where it hits and lands on the ground. Does it take damage from hitting the wall? Uh, no. Cause it didn't. It you didn't launch it hard enough. I didn't launch it hard enough, even though it also it passed through Siri, which feet. would have slowed it down even incorporeal. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Sorry. But, but it's you still did launch prone. It. It's still prone. Can't get back up after a fall. All right. 
and that's the end of my turn. I end my turn. All right, I guys. Card face down and end my turn. Uh... Is Nemo dead? No, 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 no. No! Nemo died. Nemo no! died. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna cry. I'm sorry. I need a minute. Oh, no! No, if Finn she, had wait, gone! Hold on. I thought she if rolled Finn it had every, gone! I thought she rolled it on her turn every turn, not everybody's no, turn. No, it's everyone's turn. It's every turn you roll a death Ooh. saving throw. Yeah. Oh. If Finn had gone, oh. I was. I have I have spared the dying. Could we finesse it, Fox? In this aspect, because it is the second session, I will let you finesse it and do spare the dying. Can I finesse dying. it and have spare the dying? It, it says on each subsequent turn, your on it's your. It's just turn. how we play. We just do okay, it. Okay, that's turn. just like super fast. Nobody has time to react. That's crazy. Okay. We're gonna finesse okay. it and say that when when we will Ben kicked the brain, say, yeah, Ben just reached forward because he's right here. Okay, and spare the dying on you. Yeah, I. I Usually I don't get upset like that, but like since it is no, the second session, I was gonna session. feel like you gotta be fucking kidding me. Ugh. It's, it's gonna to be, be fair, fine. To be fair, Real Drake, it says subsequent turn, not the player's subsequent turn, so really every fucking turn. Yeah. I that's how I've played in every D D session. Is how we make it spicy. Okay. Well, even Who's... in like my other D D groups, this is how we did it. Alright, so it's Basil's turn, yeah? Thank you. Is it my turn again? So Nemo, you are unconscious, but you are alive. One hit point. That's all he One gets. One hit point. How, how about this? To make it a little bit fair, Nemo gets a little bit of a scar. <laughs> I'll take <laughs> a detrimental scar. Effect. A psychic scar. But it's a psychic scar. <laughs> you need me to make Nemo stupider? Damage. I will. Just add another tally to that board. Mm. <laughs> I got emotional damage. Emotional. Yeah, I, I would have I would have stopped it as well because I'm not ready to have a player die this early in the campaign. Thank <laughs> you. Uh Basil's gonna move over and being like to herself, like, please, please let me hit something through once. It's prone. And try you should have advantage. Yeah, you could miss. Yeah, an attack roll has advantage, so go ahead. Okay. Lol. Uh, you still miss. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it just lands like a couple feet in front of her and she's just gonna plop on the ground and be like... Poor just baseball. frustrated? Just frustrated? Just grab the arrow, just run up, stab. and make a, a, make a melee attack. At the <laughs> make a stab. <laughs> just to, stab at it. Would she even be allowed to, though? <laughs> I mean... Uh, does she have, hold on, does she have any bonus actions? Hold on, like, just probably can do it as a bonus it. action, but as an action yeah. action, would we do that? Yeah. Grab the arrow off the ground, run up, and just stab it. Would I, it's would, it's I bleeding mean, pretty profusely. I mean, it, but that, she already did an attack, though. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do it this turn. Oh, yeah. Indication rolls for initiative. <laughs> now he steps it. it. She's just gonna... Basil's just Why, hello around. there, I... I see you can't hit for shite. <laughs> I'm a circus performer, not a war not a warrior. And I am a scientist. Watch me shoot some shite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with Basil's turn over, that does make it the intellect of hours turn, which means it is going to get up from being prone, but is not going to do anything else. It just flops over. It, it does. It literally <laughs> just flops over and stands up. At which point it is Nemo's turn. Nemo, you wake up. <laughs> one hit point. <laughs> oh. I kind of look over and, and wink. So did you meet any gods this time? I just heard crying in the background for some reason, but you Finn's know. like, oh, you met a god. You just don't know. Ah. <laughs> it was me. It was me. Crying it was me. <laughs> that it is now Dication's turn. Oh, okay. I'm going to nudge my way past the wee dog here. 
and uh, reach my gun out. Pull a little red vial out of my pocket, pour it in the top hatch, and pull the trigger. Is that's that your bonus action, thing. that reloading? No, that's just no, part that, of my spell. Yeah, that's not reloading. Okay. Oh no, that's going to hit the dude, the friendly. Well, uh, 15 foot cone. Yep. Yeah. 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 You're gonna well, not unless you. Not unless yeah. you. I'll, I'll, I'll adjust my angle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the, for the, for the sake of, of the dog. I like to think you walk over, you aim it, you look down the sights, and you see the fucking one hit point guy on the ground, and you're like, and you're oh, like and so wait, yeah, I roll my you eyes and take a step a little the other way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. City allows it. It's dick. It's I fine. missed. Uh, let's see, oh, chat. All right. Uh, each creature must make a dick saving throw. I'll take <laughs> that much damage. Which it does roll a six on. So I'm pretty sure it failed pretty badly. So it takes the full of the 3d6, which does instantly kill it. So I just yeah, casually walk up and. Aim a gun at it and burn it to ash. Yeah, the rest of you watch as this this gun reaches out and fires like almost like a flamethrower, and he just like roasts the area, and you begin to smell like cooked brain and cooked meat in the room. And that's how you do that. <laughs> but with All the right. combat has ended. Yay. Oh, so Kesnia picks up this guy with the help of uh, Renarin or whatever Renair, and uh, we, I guess, head to the entrance. Get this guy to safety. That's it. Y'all are leaving. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I, I, I see this staircase over here, and I, I'm a wee bit curious. Maybe yeah. it's just kind of sitting on the floor right now. Let's let's <laughs> look over the dead orc, Faceless half orc, and. Too. Pick over the body and say, "What is well, checking on the owl?" Nemo's brain feels mm. funny. <laughs> I'm investigating the corpse. You'll be all Nemo's right. Nemo's have which many one? Half orc today. Like, okay. A half orc. Uh, he's definitely big, <laughs> not quite as big as you, mm -hmm. but definitely bigger than most of the party. What's he got on him? We're looting. Uh, I don't think he genuinely has anything. <laughs> Let me actually confirm that, though. Yeah, he, he actually doesn't have an inventory. So <clears throat> he doesn't have anything unless you want to take his dagger. Um, yeah, I'll take the dagger. Why not? <laughs> okay, you, ta you take a dagger. Yay. Which <laughs> I, will, I will add to you. Thank you. Kurama, no. There you go. Thank you. And the Cation said you wanted to go down this this stairs. I, I, I did that. Hey. So you can actually, yep, there you go. That lets you, so the way this is, is the map crosses over things. So those little stairwells are meant to go, like, you're going straight through a passageway. Gotcha. So just be aware of that. Ah, okay. I can only go this way. Well, let's see what's in here. As do, you come do. in here, you five. Oh my god. Finn is going to place oh Nimu on City's <laughs> An back. Old man masturbating in the corner. Nimu just. <laughs> Wait, who's masturbating in the corner? <laughs> no, <laughs> just wait, what? <laughs> oh, hell no. I like to, like, I tuned in and then I tuned out and then I heard that and I was like, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, well, um, what am I looking at? So, uh, as you look there, you see this room contains six tattered straw stuffed mattresses and what appears to be a dwigger who hasn't noticed you and appears to be attempting to barricade the door he's leaning against. 
Oh, I see. Um, well, fuck it. I cast Firebolt at it. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. So, yeah, I shoot a small little burst of flame in its general direction. You 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 take a little like warmer. Fuck it. Okay, I was going to have a question who the fuck did that. Um, sorry. But, I'm sorry. Uh, Cuz I heard that. My base heard that. That was definitely not okay. I'm sorry. Um no, do it again. I swear. I let you it Deke takes out this little like warmer and picks up a couple rocks from just the ground. And shoves them in this thing and shakes it. And when he opens it, they're like red hot and burning. And loads them into his gun and shoots them. Uh, and misses. <laughs> <laughs> but does well, he really yeah, miss the room full of straw beds? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a... Ah, yeah. D d does it catch anything else on you, fire? You do. You manage to light the straw mattress that's right in front of you on fire. Well, which does get I his mean, attention. He turns to you and go, "Oh, you wee bugger! You don't set my beds on fire. That's you, you, death." You don't get advantage for him not being aware that he was being struck. On your well, he, he doesn't roll. actually get struck. He did actually I mean, miss the creature. Oh, but what? I've, oh, never mind. Continue. Sorry, I'll shut up. Oh, no, it's okay. And turns to you. Both of you are now. In combat, I'm going to have oh, you roll initiative, God. please. Again, oh, oh wait, hold on, I gotta end combat first. <laughs> we gotta end the first combat. There you go. Before now you roll initiative. Combat. Oh my God! While this is all happening, uh -huh. what's the rest of the group doing? Emu <laughs> oh, is in his own dimension right now. He experienced death and got yoinked back. <laughs> well, Fen's gonna walk Basil. up this way towards these these here stairs where you saw the what that uh, the mind flayer go into and investigate that. Yeah, uh, so it does appear to be a, a a hard stone wall. You don't see any trace of the door or obsidian walkway that the mind flayer left through. <laughs> okay, that's all. Continue with their thing. <laughs> okay. So first off is the Dwegger. Dwegger. Which uh, is actually... First off, uh, you see it raise its, like, hammer. Warpick, I think it's actually called. Yeah, Warpick. Um, and suddenly the whole creature turns uh, invisible. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh... Well, then, I obviously can't see anything but his wee burning bed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do... Was that his turn? That was his turn. It is your turn. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, well... What are you doing And What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, um... I seem to have disturbed a wee man and his fun time. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> and then I, I might have shot him. fire at him, and now he's invisible and I might be pissed. Well, this whole campaign is going to be sexual puns. <laughs> I didn't start it. No, but she'll so, be in the, the fire. To. That was totally <laughs> out. Or but I'm, I'm so character. glad to see you because you've had this really good habit of stomping wee things today. I think that talent could do us a lot of good here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Runs oh. into the room. It what are we stomping? Small, huh? 
<laughs> well, um, Roll initiative for me, fam. <laughs> yeah, let's see if you actually go before me. <laughs> it's Copy. called Zimp. Zimp. Yeah, stopping. that's his name, Zimp. I love it. Let's stop it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um. Well, I can't see anything, so I am. Going to reload my gun with little flamey rocks, and if I see him, I wish to shoot a firebolt in his general direction, but I will reserve my action until such time. Say that again one more time, sorry. I I want to shoot him when I see him, so I'm holding my action okay. with a firebolt at the ready. Okay. So that's that's gonna be your thing. You're just waiting. That's my turn. I'm just waiting and getting ready to shoot. Okay. What about you, Fen? It's now your turn. Um. Fen's gonna quickly ask. Wait, he's invisible. Ah, uh, yeah, just a bit. <laughs> uh, and then with confusion, he's just going to uh. Say oh, fuck he is it actually and... invisible for you guys. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't see him. So with that, uh, he's just gonna him. randomly no, I can see say... him with GM vision, but you guys yes. can't see him. I thought he but just made an effect. See him. I didn't realize it removed it from your screen, which is absolutely like cannot like see him. See plus him. invisible. Yeah, yeah it's so cool. that is really cool. Okay, so with that, um, he's gonna. He he's gonna be that really big tanky, uh, kind of enemy that's just gonna like run in a straight line with his horns to be like, I'm gonna get you. Are you gonna play like that bouncing pinball that's just gonna go in corners and bounce around till you hit him? Yes, <laughs> that is that is the move. So we're just gonna rush straight forward into the room. Until I reach the wall. If I hit him, then I hit him. Cool. You I'm gonna wreck it. Him. Okay. I didn't feel anything, and that was my movement and my all that. So go for it. Next. All right. It is now the Draugr's turn. At which point? Let's see here. He is going to attempt to hit the decation. Well, that is lame. <laughs> I don't know why trying to hit me. <laughs> why would I? Why would he try to hit me? With advantage, even. Yes, because Shame. he's invisible when he hits. Uh. But yes, he does reappear at this moment behind you. Whoops, no, I don't want to add another invisible. <laughs> Can I remove the invisible from him? Have I broken him? Right click. I think I've broken him, y'all. Right click, <laughs> uh, status effect, and then invisible. Yeah, no, or... it just adds a second invisible to him. That's I think I've broken him. weird. Okay, he's in this square. <laughs> the square below <laughs> Decation. I, I'm going to tell I, you where I he see. is because apparently I can't make him uninvisible anymore, which is an obvious issue. Um, But he is going to attempt to hit you, and he does hit an attack roll of a 19. Does that hit you? Um, Very likely. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Just a wee bit. And so he hits you. He he hits oh. you in the back for ten damage. Well, um, he knocks me the fuck out. <laughs> he does you. God damn it! And <laughs> then you turn around and watch as this this guy comes up and he he reveals himself and goes for rock and stone and then smacks you in the back. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Whack. And now oh, I am on I'm my ass. I'm actually going to remove him and re-add him so you guys can see him. Do I hear any of this happening? Oh yeah, you hear him screaming. Definitely from down the hall. Okay, I 100%. go and check. Stay here with him, I'd say to Renair. 
Thought I was yelling. Yeah, you were yelling. Yeah, you were yelling. What was that him? Oh, it's Basil. Oh, there we go. Now well. he's he's visible. I think. Yeah, he's visible. But he's got the invisibility modifier on him. Yeah, just ignore that. What's going on? He, he is visible now. Uh, you uh, open the door to see Dication, like, lying there unconscious on the ground. Uh, gun I... in hand, and Fen, like, against a wall. And a bed on fire! Oh yeah, and the bed on fire, which is right I... here. I oh, forget heavens. Alright, um... I leap over his body... to here. Okay. And then, do I see the threat? Yes, the the, the dude is here. Giant All right, fucking I, war pick in his hands. I lunge at him with my rapier. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. As he leaps over him with the distraction, can I cast Spare the Dying on... Yes. On Dick? I will let you since you're out of combat, yes. Or am I dying? Shite. <laughs> you... <laughs> love... Not 20 minutes ago, you are like, I'm gonna be sure not to let myself die today. Oops. Uh, Dies to an invisible dwarf. <laughs> you do miss. It's always the dwarfs. Kesnia. Okay. That's it for me, then. Do you want to add me to the initiative roll? Yes. Finn's politely just gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Uh, um... We dwarf man. You're a dwarf. It's... No, you you made me awake again. Oh, I did make you awake. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm talking to you. <laughs> this is turn. Uh, 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 I'll tell you what. Uh, a yeet. <laughs> a yeet? yeet? Go ahead and roll to hit. You definitely don't hit. Ah. <laughs> um. That's it. That's all I do. Okay. Uh, Wait, how can you hit him from so far away? Boomerang. Oh, boomerang. boomerang. Oh. Watch your heads. Oh, damn. Uh, with that is once again Kesnia's turn. All right, let's try again. Go ahead and roll the hit. Damn! <laughs> no, you don't hit him. Well, I'm going to use my movement to move this way. Okay. Perhaps flanking will do better. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I can only do... Yeah, I don't have bonus, any bonus action. actions. No bonus actions for me. No bonus actions okay, for him. With this, vacation comes to, and it is now your turn, sir. Oh, um... Well... I'm not sure I should be here. <laughs> <laughs> About time to um, but trail. I have nothing else really to do, so I'll just try and shoot it in the face again. With fire. Nice. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Go ahead and crit. Well. Shoot him. Shite. <laughs> yes. You sit there and you should, you like you're you're like laying on the ground and you just like look at your gun, press a couple <laughs> buttons, look over and just pull the fucking trigger, <laughs> just lay back down. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it, that's what you'll get from me. Tired if of this he lays back down, <laughs> if he lays back oh, down, Siri will just been, go to stand over. Could have been more damage. That would have been. So he he is he is damaged. Is there anything else you'd like to do, sir? Uh, get a drink. Okay, <laughs> you're more than welcome to go get a drink, sir. Oh, no, that's my turn. Okay, Ben, it is now your turn again. I'm gonna run up in between. Does them. the Druger not have a turn? Uh, uh, he doesn't at the very end. 
Oh. Don't interrupt your enemy as they're making a mistake. <laughs> um, and we're gonna gunslinger style, just like shove the boomerang in 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 the waistband of the loincloth and pull out the axe that was right next to it. <laughs> and we're gonna Whoa. battle axe. Yeah, pull out the axe from your loincloth, huh? It's a shame Yavari isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we're getting oh, no, we're getting we're really steamy in here. <laughs> Ooh, I should have raged first. Can I rage? I'm gonna rage. <laughs> we're raging oh, up to the door. You're, you're gonna get really angry and then pull out your axe from your loincloth. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yes, that's what's happening. You get in here. And I hate the good fuck the dwarf to death. So <laughs> right. so angry at this at this old like three foot man. And then we're gonna do a hard downward swing, both hands. Let's. Go! Hiya! That does hit. Hmm. Uh, and then two plus ma two plus damage with the and then I roll the damage there. Okay, so we're we're doing it versatile. So there's that, and then did you just say we're doing it versatile? Yeah, that's that's what. All I'm right, doing. all right. Cool. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it. All right. Um, <laughs> All right, and well, you then... rolled a one. <laughs> so you got four damage. Plus the rage. Two, yeah, so six damage. And we then we swing downwards at him. So you hit Rah. him. You you hit him in the shoulder with your axe. Uh, but most uh most of his mail stops it, and you only manage to dig a little bit into his skin. Aw. Uh, I already used my bonus action. All right, and I'm done. <laughs> All right, with that, it is it is Zemp's 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 turn. Sorry, it's hard to pronounce things that start yeah. with Z and end with K. Um, especially when they're plural. Uh, <laughs> or possessive. So once again, he's surrounded. He, you're not gonna take me alive. And nope. he's gonna attempt to hit people with his war pick again. This time, however, he's gonna go after Kesnia. Oh no! That's Your convenient. Uh, definitely hits. Which he hits a 22. <laughs> Oof. And uh, um, it hits you for 7 damage. Oof. I'm not feeling so good. Join the club? <laughs> And uh, with that, it is now Kesnia's turn again. Unless Finn, you're joining. Are you? Are you deciding to join? Are you just watching with <laughs> amusement? Um, how hurt does does the guy look hurt at all? Oh, he's I look pretty really hurt. hurt. <laughs> he's oh, you pretty mean him. hurt. He's standing, but he's definitely like. Not no, healthy. He'll continue to sit out and sit he's by his side, ready to jump in if need be. Fadden. City <laughs> City will actually go and stand over Dick. So I guess you could say City might be joining the Swear fight. If, if that your counts. dog pish is on me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. What was happening? I'm oh, biting. Hey, you crit. Go bite. ahead and crit on that. <laughs> oh my Holy God. shit! Stop doing that. I mean, keep doing that. But stop doing that. <laughs> so you you once again rip into his jugular, uh, <laughs> but are unable to rip his throat open. I'm still getting health back at least. You do get the health back, dude. That's so fucking cool. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I mean, technically, you're a beast. I guess you could try. <laughs> He's gonna mimic me and just die. Your teeth aren't built for it, though. You're a vegetarian. It would still <laughs> hurt, though. And just the sheer brute force of it just, like, snaps the dwarf's head off. Yeah. yeah there's gotta be a decent amount of muscle behind that. So with this, oh, it is now Dication's turn. Well, this man has taken two crits to the face. <laughs> Let's go for a third. 
<laughs> no, no, that no. Misses. Again, setting the room on fire. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you launch like you try to like pull the trigger, aiming, but your hand twitches at the last moment, and the little like flaming coal just hits the the wall and bounces down to the ground. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, no. No, okay. Uh, it, it is now Fen's turn. Uh, um. Rawr! Another axe attack. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll no, to hit it. No thoughts, head empty. <laughs> rage. Rage, yes, I rage. <laughs> nice. That definitely hit? hits. Just, just Steve hacking like he's a big log. Oh, you know how I attack that log like to too. Kill him. Um, I want to say that the axe somewhere enters around the neck and ends up in the torso area. Oh, just <laughs> just out. straight oh. through. All right, you watch as as Fen reaches up and like holds this axe and just roars and then brings it down with the full force of his body, and the male just doesn't protect against that. It went straight through the cut he made earlier down into his neck and straight almost all the way through his torso, like ripping this dwegger in two. Oh, I, I I sit up on my on my elbows and look up and just laugh my ass off. <laughs> 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 and and then to finalize it, uh I, I guess Fen takes one one foot uh, places it against the 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 dwarf's lower the the, the 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 stomach, and then and then just kicks while pulling the axe out. Ah, ah that's what you get, wee man. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna look at Dick back. and go. Did you even do anything other than anger it? <laughs> I shot him in the face once. <laughs> <laughs> mm, once, and at that, Finn literally just leaves. <laughs> Unimpressed. <laughs> He's like, oh, I can't keep saving you assholes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. And now we loot him. Ah, oh, yeah. What, what, what's on? Wait, what's so I'll go, Finn will go back and relay everything that just happened to the group so down he's here. He's got any money. <laughs> he does have a war pick and a javelin on him that is lootable. Hmm. Do you want either of those? Um, I can't use them. So, but go right ahead, big man. Uh, I'm gonna loot both the javelin and the war pick. Anything can else on his body that I can find? Been nope. in series icons right now. Nothing. Really crazy. What about his armor? Is it salvageable? No, his armor is not salvageable. You've ripped that shit to shreds, man. <laughs> <Okay>. Just check it. <laughs> You've literally uh, okay. cleaved it and have any armor smith would cry at it and then tell you to leave. <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> but uh yeah, okay, so I'll take the war pick and the javelin. And it's just my belt is just filling up with, with various tools. It is not great. Let me add those to your character sheet really quick. I can pawn them. Alright, and then I'm getting nervous. I, I feel like this one hit point dude needs to get back to the surface and we need to go get our You're reward. You're very right, I do. Happens to him. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> I do. So, Sorry, what was the Duker's name? Zemk? Zemk. Got it. Zemk the Dwarger. Dwarger? Dwarger. Dwarger? Dwarger? I mean, he, uh, he did a little bit more than... Uh... I guess you could say he's a half-dwarf. Warger. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely like not a full one. All right, there let's go. Goes, like, and... <laughs> Thank you. And so, what's the party doing at this point? Are they gonna talk about anything? What y'all doing? I say we. How about, how about we talk about all of our near death experiences today? <laughs> 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 Who'd I like to go first? You all would I stop was shot. To die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, we should leave. Right. So the we're down to boy. we're at the second session and four of the players have been knocked unconscious already. One practically died. 
Four of them. Yeah, I once saw God. Yeah, Basil got knocked unconscious. Dacation got knocked unscious. Nemu got knocked unconscious. And Yavari was knocked twice, unconscious. Twice. Oh, twice. Twice. Yavari. <laughs> That's right. Once by a teammate. <laughs> one friendly fire, one enemy. All right, so we make it. We we head to the surface and go towards the uh, um, the yawning portal. I say. Regroup at the yawning portal. Hopefully, yeah. Seriously. Let's go. What do we? We checked. Okay. All right. We're taking. David doesn't need, want anything to do with this place. Need, need liquor. He saw Coffee. stuff in the void. <laughs> and we're taking the two kidnapped individuals with us. To clarify. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> you stood around and do nothing. As he says as he walks by her. Uh, Yavari just brushes her tail to his thigh. Hmm, sorry. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> In you coming? Uh, we're taking. We. This is the person that went to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. guys um, are, are taking him with you. Yeah. I mean, we never oh. even went. Okay. We have a lot of unexplored areas, but I'm scared of dying. Yeah. We... Do we want to take a nap in the sewers? Come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we can. We can come back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to say that well, lock see, so The person I'm looking for probably wouldn't even fit down here. It might be fine. The person you're looking for definitely wouldn't fit down here. All right, then I have no interest here. <laughs> <laughs> We can leave. All right. However the hell we got through here. We're going right. back through the tunnels. <laughs> I assume we're going yeah. back the way we came, right? Drop to yeah. get back to the end. And we'll say that you all are going to head back to the uh, the yawning this... portal. Yeah. Yeah. The exit's this way, Yavari. Mm hmm? You busy looking at that meat. <laughs> I hate it when he leaves, but I love watching him go. Oh my no. god. No. <laughs> I was about to say if she doesn't say it, I will. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone should be in here. Welcome back. I still haven't fixed the map. Don't ask me why I haven't. I can't figure out how to get the overlay <laughs> off. Um <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah, fine. the uh you guys are all back and with that for the sake of time before anything else happens we are going to call session there. All right. Okay, doke. I hope everyone Has Yavari officially joined time. the party? Yes, for for yes. lack of a better word, as a surprise, Meg will be joining the party going forward. Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, the shenanigans. I love you! I'm so the glad you're able to join! I'm so happy! I've been wanting to play with you for so for long! It. Yavari will become Meg's character until said point at either Meg leaves or Yavari dies. Which was uh, very close to happening within five minutes of beating her. Right? <laughs> Oops. I was like, <laughs> Why? I did oh no. Quickly. She's been like, shot nope. already. <laughs> and the tets, even. <laughs> Boob shocker. So, with that. <laughs> Electric um, boobies. I'd like to begin Electric. again the tradition that we held with Icewind Dale. Woo! Um. If there is any questions mm -hmm. from the player characters for me, uh, I yeah, what was answer what I can? What was that mini beholder that we that we stomped into sewage? So that was called a gazer, and it's a creature created from a beholder's dreams. It effectively was a sentry guard. Well. Does it, and like, report back it. information to somebody else, perhaps? Uh, it reports back telepathically. The, uh -oh. uh, the beholder that created it can see through it at any point and utilize it as necessary. 
Whoa. <laughs> so it's tall. It saw you stomping it. Good. It knows to be afraid. <laughs> Fear me. Huh. Is there uh, anything else from anyone? Anybody else got any other questions? Mm, all I, I know is so. that these sessions are going to be very sexually charged. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, look, Meg's going to need the log after this. Oh, no, 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 no. Good thing we have this marked as 18 plus. I have this marked as everything. But we Rachel knew this was going to be 18 as. plus. <laughs> there was no way it wasn't going to be. Oh, yeah. Out of curiosity, what were y'all talking about for like 10 minutes? Well, <laughs> would like you to like to know? <laughs> I told you, y'all need that paid Pornhub subscription for that. <laughs> that See, was I was right. Good shit. I was totally right. What? <laughs> I was standing right there. What do you mean? Yeah, and we can talk in hush whispers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your wife was tantalizing people. We can whisper in ears just fine. <laughs> it's fun. So, Meg, how did you enjoy just... your first session? I'm not going to lie, the entire time I was anticipa anticipating my arrival, I was like literally like shaking and my heart was racing like, don't fuck this up, don't fuck this up, don't fuck this up. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. And then you yeah. got knocked unconscious immediately. Yeah, I got knocked unconscious. <laughs> the tits got zapped. The tits got electrocuted. Electrifying. Not the zinger I was expecting, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's becoming a standard. Whenever we meet someone, Dick's gotta tase them. Like, this is what happens. <laughs> I love it. And I'm losing control. I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, with that, thank you all for coming. I'm going to end the stream. Uh, we're gonna just disappear in the night. So, Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Goodbye, Goodbye stream. Goodbye.